Hello, everybody. Good morning, and happy Thursday. I hope you're all doing well. Doing well in getting ready for the upcoming weekend. John! Hello! Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. <laughs> Rapper Princess. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, how how are you doing today? What's chilling? Uh, you know, not a whole lot. I am well, had some food, and relaxing. Hey, that sounds good. Uh, I'm doing good. I uh, got up, made myself some oatmeal, uh, had some trail mix. Now I'm ready for some streaming. I'm excited to play a little gator game. Uh, I know almost nothing about it, because uh, I try... I try not to know much about games before I stream them if I haven't played them before. So I know pretty much nothing about this, other than the fact that everyone says it's super cute. So I'm excited to play it. But yeah, I'm doing good. My allergies are acting up today, though, so hopefully it doesn't, you can't hear it in my voice. So, let's switch over. Let me make sure that it's picking up the game. It looks like it's not picking up the game audio. Wrong one. Ooh, did I just straight up? I can get this to work. We're going to get this, we're going to get the audio to work. There we go. I don't know why, uh, earlier it was picking it up just fine. But it looks like it's it looks like it's picking up now, so I think we're good. So let's get started. Yeah, I've heard good things about this game. That's enough laying around. I want to do something fun. Big Sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. <laughs> Spoiler, there might be a little alligator in this game. I think there might be. Hello, Egg. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It is good to see you. Can I get on this? Oh, I can. That's cute. I 
I like his little overalls. I can't climb on that, though. No, let me turn it down just a tiny bit. Oh no, the ground is lava. Ah. Little game, a game about trials and relations to the prison reform program. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a very different game than you think. Big sis, big sis, big sis. I'm bored. What are you doing? Just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can't it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single-player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard is it? How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and a shield. And a hat. Of course, a silly pointy hat. And you have to be clad in green? I am green. <laughs> Great, you're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a moment. I look so cool. It's like you jumped right out of the magazine. Oh, look at this little happy dance. Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Heroi Hero Sin Hero Meister the Third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. Every hero has a name. Uh, we need a good name um, for our hero. You know what? How about Snappy? Snappy the alligator. That sounds cute. I think we'll go with Snappy. I don't know how to say I'm, I'm done. Is this the name you want? Careful, names can snip, can stick. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm sure. We're Snappy. I am Snappy, hero of legend. Pleasure to meet you, Snappy. Now you need some kind of quest, but what? We need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness. Haha, a little overdramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? Oh, this is very cute. A brave hero set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime, no work allowed. But one day after many a playtime, big sis went far away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day when Big Sis came home for a fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Feels like just yesterday, huh? Oh my gosh, did we just have like a crazy time skip? Haha, yep. Those hundred billion years really flew right by. Kind of makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. Aw, oh, come on, you've been working on that all day. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry, kiddo, it's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. Hmm? 
But, uh, don't worry. I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, you're my amazing big sis. One little assignment is nothing. You'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you 100%. And now she'll never finish it in a million years. <laughs> Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek. But thanks for trying, guys. Aw, sorry, Snappy. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Avery, that's it. I'll play the game for her. Gasp. They said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all the stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots beside empty waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. There's no story. No drama. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero. An epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. You sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college-level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years, and I can't wait that long. She'll have, like, ten million years to finish it later. I'm not entirely sure that math tracks. It tracks. Just a thought, but have you tried having a grown-up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that. No grown-up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again, please. You already had me at drama. <laughs> I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Yes. All right. Let's get to work. Each of you will make a quest for me to complete and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery, your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat. Quest. Got it. Bye. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill? The sword. Leave it to me. Exactly. And I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quests, become the hero, and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work, possibly. You're right, it will definitely work. That's uh, not what I said. Don't worry, Scales, we'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey Sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal one of the meal day on the island, nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. Uh, okay kiddo, have fun then. Oh, I will. <laughs> You having fun, kiddo? Yeah, so much fun. It's almost contagious. Ha, ah, right. I guess I can't break these. It makes sense. Nice swim. Okay. I figured I could swim being a, a gator, but you never know. This game is looking absolutely charming. I agree. This is very cute. There's a chest over there. I want to get it. I don't think I can make this jump. I cannot make that jump. Can I climb the tree? No. One more try. We'll come back to it. Gators can't swim. They can only traverse the astral plane, but only at an older age. Probably. A <laughs> little known gator fact. Oh no, dangerous beasts. You, hero, please, you must help. These vile creatures have attacked me. A defenseless NPC. Do you have a weapon, hero? A weapon? Oh! No, I am uh, lacking my sword. Do you uh, know where I can get one? Ah, Scale Traveler, I have heard many a tale of a mythical sword. 
The stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove only heroes of true heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. That sounds difficult. <laughs> just these two guns. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Hello, Gazbang. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. And I'm sure you can manage it. You're the hero, after all. Please, you must retrieve the sword and save me. All right, well, we can find a sword. How hard could it be? <laughs> I love his waddle. It's so cute. Wait, was it the... I think she kind of pointed in this general direction. Oh, here it is. Thing, get, stick. Wow, the magic special sword. It's, it's a stick. And I guess it was pretty short notice. Quick, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill. Thing, get, craft stuff. Oh boy, junk. I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. Please don't jump up the rock ledges. Oh, please help, I'm surrounded still. I like how Jill is still doing homework. <laughs> help, oh, is that all of them? Wow, super cool moves, hero. You have completed my quest. I mean, yeah, thanks, but you're back to doing schoolwork. I thought you were playing. I am, I promise. Just trying to squeeze a practice quiz in on the side. I'm a little stretched thin right now studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, see you later then, I guess. Sis, sis, check it out. I found a special sword in the forest. And I rescued Jill from scary monsters. Very cool. Don't break anything. Haha, uh -huh, okay. She loved it! <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area. That's so funny. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> she loved it. Who are you? You're not a part of her game. Hmm, where could it be? I can't find it anywhere. You looking for something? Yeah, there's a stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh, I feel like I left it right here in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh, oh, we'll tell the truth. Oh, was that your stick? Haha, <laughs> oops, I thought that was for me. My friend told me there was a sword hidden in the forest, and when I found that stick, it seemed perfect. A secret sword? Oh, that reminds me, while I was looking for my stick, look what I found. Thing, get, wooden sword. Whoa, a wooden sword, this must be what Jill wanted me to find. Thanks a lot. Do you want your stick back? Don't worry about it, you can hold on to it, as long as you're enjoying it. See you around. Immediately upgraded. Nice. Oh, I can break the pots. I feel kind of bad breaking these props knowing that the kids made them. Uh, because I, I can't help but think about how long it would take to make all of this. Oh, 
not sure what qualifies as the sandy area, but I'm gonna assume it's this way. First, I must slay every monster. It's a memory. You've got this, Snappy. Uh, you sure? I'm pretty high up. Don't worry, the legendary hero can climb any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. Can I climb? Alright, I guess I cannot climb. That's alright. Where's our friend at? Oh, he's up there. Maybe the shield will let me dash or something. We'll talk to our friend. Oh, hey, Snappy. I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No, you can't just give me things. It has to be a reward for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero and for my sis to play with me. Right. Talking to her is out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime, no grown-up stuff. Quest, drama, fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. Too bad it's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. Ha ha ha. Fine. You want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quests. Oh. I mean, uh... I sure do love me a fetch quest. So go over there and grab that thing. I need it. For reasons. Huh. Well, yes, okay. Quest time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a shield dash. Thing get. Pot? Got it. It's... a pot. Weird, I wonder what Martin's plan for this is. Here you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So here's your reward, hero. Thing get. Hot lid? This is... Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yes. Thing get. Shield. Wow, a shield. Amazing. In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. I can't wait to find a hill and slide down it on this pot lid. Er, I mean shield. Well done, hero. You have completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Now go tell your sister you want her to play with you. Not gonna happen, bye. Sis, I found this weird round thing. Weird, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. He transmuted it into a shield. Incredible. Yeah. Phew, okay, all that's left is Avery. We're gone. They've gone and climbed the mountain, haven't they? Oh, I see how this works. Oh, I can keep... <laughs> I can stay on the shield. That's great.
Oh, okay, up there. Hello. Hey, have you seen It Is I, the bracelet shop? Look upon my array of beauties. Do you not desire them? Covet them? Hmm? Tell me, what is it that you truly want? Um, I'm looking for my friend Avery. They're a frog? Yes, the energetic one. They have ascended to greater heights. But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps. With the help of my bracelets. They're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. The strength to keep going. To tell the world who you are. To ascend over your every obstacle. To hold tight to the truth in your heart. Okay, okay, I'll take one, fine. Ooh, ooh, as I thought, you desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world. Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties. For a price. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken grafting stuff? But it's just a bunch of junk. Ah, but they hold value to you, do they not? Then they also hold value to me. Because I can take that value away from you. Hoo-hoo. I like this shopkeep. <laughs> Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 100 scrap. Yes. Hoo-hoo, wonderful. Here, take my beauty and make it yours. Thing, get. Bracelet. I got a bracelet. It gives me the strength to climb walls. With only one, my stamina is pretty low. With more, I could climb higher. But do not be mistaken. One is never enough. Look upon my array of beauties. Imagine the strength they lend me. If you still yearn for my beauties, seek me out. You will find me where you least expect. Goodbye. Uh, they just performed magic? <laughs> Wooden sword and power bracelet? Hmm. Exactly. Not to mention uh, shield surfing and a stamina wield for climbing. Actually, what is this at? Please don't climb the cliff face. That sign can't stop me, because I can't read. Hello, fellow mountain climber. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be placebo. Not a chance. I myself am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when that frightful character told me that they could help, you bet I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything. Go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, we will have a climb off. I will traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. If you think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, prove it and find me amongst the mountains. Oh, all right, see ya. Oh, I, s I see him up there. John! <laughs> Thank you for bonking me. And welcome in, hello. How are you doing today? Ah, fellow mountain climber, you have found me. What took you so long? <laughs> gator! Hello. Yes, I am a little gator. I bet you think you're quite the hotshot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> just dies. I'm good. Only most of his bones are broken, so it's okay. So have you learned from my example? 
Uh, actually, no. Uh, that seemed excessively dangerous. I, uh, I guess? I'm hungry. I'm waiting for food to get ready. Oh, what are you having? He lives. Yeah, somehow he lives. Ah, it requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery. Go, and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities. Hey. Are you sure this isn't dangerous? Ha, ah, of course it's dangerous. But as we all know, in video games, children are invincible. How did... What was the button to do that? Oh, we're get, I'm, I'm gonna climb up this. Climb, climb, climb! Uh, but don't tell anyone I let you. Uh, the, the lesson we don't was don't walk off cliffs. I'm having chicken with rice. Oh, nice! I've been having a ton of that lately. Okay, I think I can get up there. Hey, I can. The hero beats the mountain. I did it. We should do this every year. No, every month. Every day! I don't know why I expected that to have something in it. Still have to find Avery. Never mind, I found Avery. Food. Oh, hey, Snappy. Uh, wow. Um, what is all this? It's something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant! Those create lots of conflict, and grown-ups love conflict. A restaurant? Conflict? See, there will be an opposing restaurant that bad-mouths them to the press. And then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. The drama! With all that spoiled food, how will they impress the food critic? <laughs> Peering and reading food has made me more hungry. Oh no. Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful? Yeah, uh, kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Whoop. There it goes. <laughs> Smash it with the hammer. So, the hat, right? Did you at least make the hat? Right, the hat. Um, to be honest, I forgot everything you were talking about the moment I left. But you seem to have a pretty clear idea of what you want. Why don't you make the hat yourself? But... But it needs to be a quest. Can do. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go, simple. <laughs> Smiley face. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I have to buy Ragdoll. Oh, I... I see, I can buy the hat. It's pointy. It flops around. What more could you want? Hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat all on my own. Quest complete. Oh, I mean, almost complete. I have to show Avery first. <laughs> Stress? Responsibility? Not allowed. Not scientifically possible. Smash. Wow, what an excellent heroic looking hat. Ah, uh, thanks. Does this satisfy your quest then? Oh yes, absolutely. And even better news, I remembered something about the game. It has a glider. It makes exploration so easy. A glider at the ones I played didn't have that. Oh, well I must be thinking of a different game in the series. Anyway, hero, for fulfilling your heroic questing duty, I must reward you. What reward? But I already have the hat. Hero, I must depart. Please take your reward as I leave you goodbye. And get glider? Is this a shirt? Avery, wait, whose shirt is this? I guess this must be the glider they were talking about. 
I mean, uh, wow, a glider. Simply jump again in the air to glide. Sis, sis, sis. I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over. And at the top, a special hero hat. Looking sharp. Yeah, that's everyone. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All that's left is to go recruit my sis. I'm ready for this, right? Why is the glider not doing anything? Oh. <laughs> it's really a mystery what game this, uh, this is borrowing from. We may never know. Kind of would like a plunging attack, but that's all right. I'm gonna buy the ragdoll ability, even though I'm not a hundred percent sure why I would want it. I can ragdoll in the air. Never mind, this was absolutely worth it. Behold, there is nothing here. Wow. I want to climb up to the top of that really high mountain and then ragdoll off of it and see if I can do, like, a bunch of flips. Is that important? No, it is not. But do I want to do it anyways? Absolutely. Oh, I should have gone up that mountain. I bet I could do an even crazier ragdoll if I glide down a little first. Oh yeah. We're alright. <laughs> We're invincible! <laughs> So, what do you think? Just a sec, let me finish this thought. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and done. What's up? Uh, whoa, you're done? Oh, no, 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 I'm nowhere close to finished. But I've got a minute, what do you need? Well, look at me, I'm the little green hero. And all those quests I've been doing, it's just like the game we played. Oh yeah, you sure have been busy. Yeah, it looks fun, right? Oh, kiddo, yeah. Just like old times, right? Kiddo. I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still? But I did all this stuff. But why do you agree to come if you weren't going to spend time with me? Remember our promise? Playtime means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have your fun without me. Oh, man. We did the opposite of what we wanted. Well, so much for our legendary quest. Aw, oh, sorry, Snappy. I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? Haha, <laughs> no way. I did didn't you see that spark in her eye? <laughs> All I saw was the bags underneath them. I'm telling you, we almost had her. We just didn't wow her enough. We need to go bigger and better. We need to go... There. The big island? Imagine all this, but over there. A bigger forest, a longer river, a taller mountain, an irresistible adventure in every direction she looks. There's no way she'll be able to say no. What do you say? I don't know, dude. The entire big island? That's not what we signed up for. Honestly, I'm exhausted just from working on this one. Oh. Hey, Jill, aren't you supposed to meet up with your school group soon? Oh my gosh, you're right. What time is it? Oh, I hope they didn't start without me. 
Sorry, Scales. I'll see you later. I gotta get going, too. Some guys are expecting me at the splash pad. Good effort, team. You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. Or maybe not. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now what? Ugh. Who's texting me? What's good, Snappy? You coming or what? Oh, I'm coming where? We were waiting for you at the island, and you didn't show. What? No way. I'm on the island right now, by the playground. Wave at me. I don't see you. Tom, that's the big island. We said to meet on the little one. Oh... My B, my B. Lamau, I was out here, like, where are those guys? Cool news, though, I texted, like, everyone, and a bunch of peeps came out to help build stuff. Really? That's incredible! Yeah, but y'all weren't here, so they wandered off all over the place. Oh. I don't think they're still doing the game, though. Oh, I think they're still doing the game, though. Just in their own space, I guess? Oh! Yeah. Don't worry, you got big charisma. You can round him up again, no prob. I'll send everybody you met on the island an invite to. Great, thank you, this is amazing. We really, we could really make an island-wide game happen. Practically begging to happen, EBH. But listen, come meet me at the playground first because I got big ideas for decor. I'm next to the blinky radio tower on the big island, not little one. Cool, cool. I'll be there soon. Okay, okay. Eyes on the prize, Snappy. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill and convince them to get back on board. And compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Easy. This will be a walk in the park. Oh, and I shouldn't keep Tom waiting at the playground. Time to head for the radio tower. Hey, big sis, better grab a laundry basket, because I'm about to knock your socks off. Now that's some enthusiasm. Day traveler. Oh, traveler, hello! I heard there's a gator on a quest, and I'm here to help. That's great! Uh, hail and well met to you, friend. You look lost. Have you not journeyed to our land before? I could give some directions if you'd like. Yes, please. Stay the path through this ravine, and you'll arrive at the playground. It's by the radio tower, right at the center of the whole island. If you keep going straight through, you'll reach the treacherous creek lands. If you head across the lake, you'll find yourself scaling the chilly mountains. If you pass the old swing set, you're headed for the dense and spooky forest. You'll find all of the park amenities nearby something really tall. If you get lost, try heading for the tallest spot you can find nearby. That's all really helpful, thanks. Okay. I now have four friends. So, like, is the gator dude like Link, but as a gator? Yes. <laughs> Yes, we are... We're a kid pretending to be Link. But, like, legally distinct Link. From uh, a game that totally had a different name. I was right there and she didn't see me. <laughs> This way to Great Oak, the largest tree on the island. Hope you brought a camera. Notice, please keep the viewing structures and no climbing. They're storming the falls. Oh, this kid's got it figured out. 
Thank goodness! Help has arrived! A bunch of icky slimes are trying to climb up the waterfall. The big tree is just up this stream. We have to hold them off or they'll go... or they'll goo it all up. Gross! I like my trees goo-free. Heh <laughs> yeah, we gotta get these goobers gone. Take out as many as you can, I'll cover your flank. Yeah, stay back, gooey fiends. I mean... I'll do my best, I... I feel like this... could have a slingshot. Those big roots are stronger than you, they look. You can jump up on them to get a better position. Don't let a single slime get by. Okay, I mean, this seems kind of dangerous. I definitely feel like I'm supposed to have some type of ranged weapon. But that's alright. We're gonna improvise. Never mind, I think I could have used these, like, bounce pads. That's alright, we improvised. Victory is ours! This seems really dangerous. <laughs> That was amazing! You must be the hero of legend! I am! What gave it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator, and that and that, that would be the hero. Um, I mean, it was your skills with a sword, of course. No ordinary soldier could have done it alone. <laughs> we should celebrate our victory back at the playground. Dang, her shield must be heavy. I can make a better shield. Alright. Excuse me, have you seen the hero anywhere? Wow, wow, it's you! It's the legendary hero! I heard there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. Haha, it's me. Do you need help with some sort of quest? Yes! Well, no. I mean, kind of. It's a request. Can I be your sidekick? Oh, um, I've always wanted to be a hero. I have a hero name and a catchphrase and everything. But I don't have any work experience. My dad says that's important because of the economy. I don't know about... Please, 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 let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape and... Alright. Well, okay. I guess I could try being a sidekick for a little while. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What should we do first? Carry something up a mountain? Learn about swords? Uh, maybe we can start at the playground? We're building a town there. Whoa, that's so cool. Let's go right now. Uh, okay. I need a break. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just need to breathe for a second. Okay, let's go. Um, are you sure you want to follow me around all day? Sorry, you're really fast. Maybe I wouldn't be a good sidekick after all. Aw. No, no, I'm sure somebody at the playground could use the sidekick. Maybe somebody who likes to stay in one spot for a while. You think so? That'd be great. Work experience, here I come. I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. Oh, goodness. Well, it's okay. Hopefully this is leading me the right direction, because I'm still not really sure which way to go. Alright, I just need to look for a radio tower. I found it. Actually, wait. Yeah, there's a... How do I do it again? Okay. 
buy the tower shield. You know what? We're gonna. It's an improvement. Great news. I found a new special stick. It's huge. Did you drag it up here by yourself? Sure did. I'm a lot stronger than I look. Just wait until I'm strong enough to swing it. All right, let's talk to Tom before we do any more quests. Where's Tom at? I thought he said he was here. This is Simon. Greetings, my pupil of highs and lows. Oh, it's the climber. You've done well to reach this height, but there are greater heights still. Remember, there is no peak too high to climb or consequences for falling off. No consequences at all. I can't think of a single one. Oh, I was too high up. I need to, I did need to come down here. Hey, Snappy, look who finally showed up. You were the one who was late in the first place. Oh, right. Haha, <laughs> whoops. At least we're both here now. You want to start decking this place out? Sure, you mentioned some decorating ideas. What did you have in mind? Totally, totally. So check this. We're doing the fantasy adventure angle, yeah? Take a look around for a sec. Does this place not scream beautiful fantasy adventure town waiting to happen? Uh, sure, probably. I guess I could see that. It's not enough just to see it, my friend. You gotta feel it. Allow me to get you acquainted with the command center. So many sticky notes. Where did you get this? Some angry dude gave it to me for a few empty two liters and an old magazine. Whoa, awesome. I know. We can use it to sketch out our ideas. Give it a try. What should we turn that thing into? What? That little Lonnie? I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with these types of ideas. Oh, come on. Give it a go. I bet it'll turn out better than you expect. Uh, all right. So, should I try to make my idea? Yeah, why not? Uh, ta-da. It's... It's, um... Uh, how do I, uh... Snappy, you know I never lie to you, right? I told you, I stink at this sort of thing. I have truly been made the fool. Oh, you know who'd be great at it, though? Yep. Jill and Martin have great ideas. Avery probably has, like, a hundred. True. Good thing I just happen to know where they all are. Martin is with his crew at the splash pad, right at the bottom of the windmill. Avery's at the amphitheater, way up the mountain. I heard rumors they have a restaurant up there. Jill is cramming with her study buddies in the woods. Check the pavilion under the big tree. If any of them are game, tell them they have carte blanche to set up their own command center wherever. That is with one exception. This building here is all mine. You got plans for it? Oh yeah. Big plans, little dude. You just sent some eager beavers my way, and it's about to go down on this playground. You feel me? It's about to go down when we make it a town. Where no one will frown, and we wear the crown. And also, a uh, gown? Um, anyway, see you around. Bars. Courage be with you, my most radical pal. Go forth and collect the hearts of the world. Oh, and tell your sis I said hi. Fully upgrade the town. I bet that's gonna cost a lot. Hey, Snappy, you ready to get down to business on this extreme playground makeover? I think so. Let's see your big, amazing plan. You bet, my heroic helper. Feast your eyes on this. Ah, oh, I can't wait to show you. 
we have some friends to help out, right? It's gonna be so rad. So rad. Let's pull the trigger. Alright. Kabang. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. It's... It's snappy. It's... Oh, great. Great? Greek doesn't even begin to describe it. It's... Magan... Magnanimous. It's unassailable. It's awesome. Oh, great. Never before, my friend, has an epic king had a worthier domain. Let's call it a wrap. Now that the big tree is safe, I'm fully committed to guarding Playground Town. My life for the playground. My soul for the playground. My, um... My hat for the playground. Oh, hello, Sammy! Enjoy your lurk! And thanks for stopping by. Wow, I had no idea you were that committed. <laughs> Giving up your life and soul? No. Giving up your hat? Now that's commitment. Ah, it's a good day to be a king. Hope it's a rad day to be a hero, too. Hey, guess what? Guess what? I'm Tom's sidekick now. Wow, that's great. It's so great. He mostly just stands there admiring the kingdom and wants snacks sometimes. The perfect job for me. Hey, Gunther, are you hungry? I'm kind of feeling pretzels right now. I can go get some for you. Hmm, nah. The feeling passed. You can just hang out and keep looking fresh. Thanks for the positive energy. He's so cool. Ah, Traveler, you seek directions once again? Uh, no. I'm pointing any direction, Hero, and it's that way to adventure. I'm just gonna pick a direction. Oh, the trash. I am king of the trash. I oh, hear someone. Help me, Traveler. Defeat these terrifying monsters. Oh no, behind you. I'm helpless in being attacked. I will protect you. Uh-oh, that one's giving me scary looks. Oh wow, you did it. Oh, thank goodness. They were everywhere. I heard someone needed monsters, so I made some. I built and built and built all over the place. But then I actually looked at one. I had no idea how scary they were. Thank you for saving me from my own creations. What did I unlock? Oh, it's a new type of shield. Oh, this looks cool. Oh wait, there's a person. Well, hey there, Traveler. You lost or something? Maybe a little. Haha, uh -huh, well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. The island is pretty big for a little thing like you. Want to be friends? Uh, sure. Another friendly face on the island is always welcome. I wish making friends was always this easy. Haha, uh -huh, I know the feeling. See you around, new friend. Wait, did she call me a little thing? Wait a minute, I'm taller. He was like a foot tall. Hi, do you want to come play a game at the playground? Is that still on? Sure, I'll come play in a minute. I want to skip rocks for a little longer. Can I try? Sure, there's all sorts of good rocks around. Help yourself. Thing get, rock. I found a rock. If I throw it right, I can skip it over water. I can get one or two skips, but I really want to see one skip three times. Keeps from obstacles, I get to see one skip three times. Okay. There we go. 
Dang, you must have found a really good rock. Or maybe I'm just bad at this. Anyway, I'll come play with you at the playground now. See you there. I tried to make some friends, but I just... Just look at them. They're misshapen and gross. I can't stand to look at them. Can you get rid of them? Oh, that took a different direction. You want me to destroy them? I can do that, but... Yeah. Just... Yeah. Oh good, they're gone. Well, I got rid of them. Yeah, thanks. Hey, why don't you try again? Practice makes perfect, after all. Huh? You think so? After such a failure? Aw, oh, come on, I believe in you. Just give it another shot. I... Maybe I... Okay, I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. Huh. Turned out exactly the same. Why do I even bother? Just get rid of them. Well, but, uh, please? Alright, if you say so. I'll destroy them. Yeah, figures. Well, yeah, I don't think there's a point. I give up. No, you can't give up. Aw, oh, come on. It'll just end up the same as last time. You don't know that? Come on, one more try. Eh, I believe in you. Okay, okay, yes, I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. Bye, I did it again. Oh well, guess it's just not gonna happen. I just can't do anything right. Hmm, I don't know. They're pretty scary. And monstrous. Monstrous? Scary? Oh gosh, I can't stand to look at these scary monsters. Oh, oh, I can maybe see what you mean. I can just barely, maybe if I can summon up some courage, I could take them on. But it's so scary. No, you can. I know you can do it. Please, destroy them. I, I believe in you. Oh gosh, then I guess I'll have to do it then. Here I go. This game is so charming. Hero. You defeated them. You did it. You defeated them. Ah, uh, only with your help and encouragement. Ah, uh, well, thanks for everything, Traveler. I have a new friend. Nice. Smasher, strike! Hiya! Hmm. Gotta figure out where where I want to go. Creepy forest. Oh, potential friend. You know what? Let's see if I can go over there first, and then we'll go talk to that person. Hey, what's wrong? I climbed up here to look for the hero, but then I remembered that I'm scared of heights. Oh, you climbed up too, Traveler. Now we're both scared. Uh, nope, I'm not scared. What? You're not. But, but, what if we fall and take fall damage? I, it'd reduce our health and pen penalize us for climbing so high. Health? Fall damage? Oh, are we not including those in our, uh, game? I mean, I haven't noticed those being a thing. Oh, phew, that's a relief. Yeah, I've been climbing all over without a care. Wow, really? That sounds so fun. Thanks for curing my fear of heights, Traveler. Now I can get down from here and help the town. Give the hero my regards. That's right. Gravity can't hurt you if you... <laughs> Just don't let it. Just disable fall damage. Say the part about the thunderous crash. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I can climb this yet.
Did you lose something? Oh, hey, guy. Uh, traveler. Hey, traveler guy. I set down my thing. What's it called? I set down my green wheelie thingy right here. And now I can't find it anymore. you're hanging out around here, could you keep an eye out for it? Green wheelie thing? I'm still hunting for my green wheelie thingy. Let me know if you see it. What is a green wheelie thingy? Well, whatever it is, it's gotta be nearby. sure how nearby it nearby is. Wait. It, it, it's gotta be that. Thing get. Broken scooter. This is one of those wheelie boards like they have in school and gymnasiums. Dang, it's all busted up. Did somebody drop this? Maybe I can fix it. Sworn enemy of wax gymnasium floors. Scooter board. You know what? Oh, a new hat. I will the art palette too. Let's try the scooter board. Alright, after we defeat these monsters, we'll go up and... Uh, Return this. Still hunting for my green wheelie thing. Let me know if you find it. Oh, right, the wheelie thingy. Here you go. I found it at the bottom of the canyon. Whoa, it fell all the way down there, but it looks even better than before. Did you polish it or something? Yeah, it was a little scratched up, but I didn't want you to get it back broken. Thank you, uh, traveler guy. Now I can slide down hills faster than ever. Here, take this. You earned it. Get them down. Wait, can I just throw a rock? You all right? Fine, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I was just decorating when a gust of wind started blowing all my balloons away. I tried to grab them all, but pretty soon I was blowing away too. Sorry, could you do me another favor and take these off my hands? I can't even look at them right now. Thing get balloon. I got a bag of balloons. Now I can take to the skies and try not to get blown away.
make a new hat. Now in blue. Oh, I like the pointy hat. I wasn't as good a swimmer as her yet. So many of these cardboard enemies. There's a person. A new friend. Thank goodness you're here, hero. Some crafty monsters have hidden amidst my priceless heirlooms. I can't tell which is which. I only own three pots, but there are seven here. You can tell the difference. Can you dispatch these monsters? And please don't break any of the real pots if you can help it. I think you defeated them. They're all here. My priceless heirlooms are perfectly intact. Thank you. Well, that's it for my quest. You win. I guess we don't need these pots anymore. All right. Do you want to smash them then? Yeah, watching you smash stuff was awesome. It will be an honor to have my priceless heirlooms smashed by the hero. Oh, and take this too for doing such a good job. See you at the playground. What an honor. doing my job. You don't throw the word hero around lightly here. Definitely collected a lot of the the crafting stuff. We need more friends. We need to go higher up where I can look for them. Oh, 
up. Oh, yeah. There's someone right here. They're nearby. I can feel it. What's nearby? Enemies? No, pots. Pots. I feel them looming above me. It's freaking me out. Also, I'm allergic to ceramic. Please destroy them all. I can't take it. Well, all right. You did it? They're gone? Yep, all gone. No more pots. Oh, good. Um, yay, thanks, etc. Yeah, just... I was so unnerved that I never appreciated them. The craftsmanship, the artwork. Oh, uh, sorry, haha. Maybe my greatest enemy was actually my greatest friend. I need to learn more about pots. Thank you, without you I would have stayed afraid. So see you in town? Yes, see you there. I thought I saw someone up there. of people over there. On a quest to the top of the mountain, a diabolical witch switched gravity. We had to turn upside down or else we'd fall into the sky. And I think about it, she probably just made that up on the spot. That's why she's the best. It's the, the, uh, the salesman. This is not going to work. There we go. Yodelehi who? Atop this peak, your soul will taste what it truly craves. Bracelets, where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my bracelets? Only 500. Yes. Ooh, ooh, wonderful. Another beauty joins your collection. Thing get. Bracelet. I got another bracelet. Now I can climb for even longer. Is it just me, or do these things really work? If only I could stay, but greater heights call out to me. Goodbye. Oh, yep, now I have two rings. Double the climbing power. Great. Savory. And there were a bunch of slimes, but my favorite ones were squat flat like this. Sounds like fun. Who all else is playing? Only everyone on the island. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, it's Snappy. I was just telling all my friends about your game. Oh, are you still playing? I thought maybe you gave up on helping me impress my sis. Yeah, she seems busy, but that shouldn't stop us from having our own fun. Oh, 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 you're gonna love this. Remember when you said you wanted more drama? These guys are theater veterans, certified acting professionals. We came up with a bunch of great ideas. Andromeda, what was your idea again? Okay, so I'm hearing monsters, discovery, and epic adventure. So I think for Act 2, we get to the most epic place imaginable. The final frontier. The world's beyond the stars. A space opera for the ages. Uh, I don't know about... You always want to do space. I thought we were doing my cowpoke idea this time. Dingy, sal dingy saloons and duels at high noon. That's pretty epic. Shh, compared to an adventure that spans the galaxy? Hardly. I'll play cowpokes, Velma. But only if your cattle can handle a vampire attack. A what attack? Ask me, please. The Wild West appeal is its gritty realism. You can't be a vampire. Fine, then. I want to do space, too. A vampire would never survive in space. There's nowhere to hide from the sun. Ugh. I bet there's a way we can make everyone's idea work. What do you think, Snappy? Uh, well, we're already doing a heroic fantasy thing, so everyone should just do that instead. No one gets left out because there's no space opera or western or vampire drama to begin with. You, too? What kind of fantasy game doesn't have vampires? None of you have any culture. I've got whole solar systems of culture, and I won't play without them. <laughs> the sun is everyone's enemy. Correct. 
Hang on, guys. If we just talk this out a little more, I know we can make everyone happy. Sorry, Avery. This is starting to sound like a lot of rules. The cowgirls don't play by the rules. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go herd some cattle, and it's gonna be epic. Velma, wait! Great, now I have to go recruit a new engineer. Anyone who doesn't turn to dust in the sun is welcome to join me. Rude. We can at least work vampires in, right, Snappy? Eh, I mean, maybe we could. Ah, it's fine, Avery. I need to go brood in the shade anyway. Hasta luego, darlings. Here's hoping you mortals come to your senses about the greatest of all monsters. Jeez, that was a lot more drama than I was ready for. Well, you win some when you lose some, right, buddy? Haha, uh -huh, nah, don't worry. This kind of thing happens all the time. It does? That sounds exhausting. It is, but also means I know exactly what to do. Those guys are all so creative, they just need a place where they can all be creative together. Hmm. Hmm. I'm conjuring an idea with my magical fantasy powers. Are you sure we can't just cut our losses and head for the playground? In the middle of a friendship emergency? Sorry, Snappy, no can do. Just think of that scope they all bring to the fantasy. Plenty of heroes get attacked by aliens or negotiate with the undead, or perform laborious farming and landscaping chores for fun. Well, I guess if it'll get you to come with me, we can try some of that stuff. Yay. Okay, okay, I have the perfect idea, but I need some time to put it together. Can you try to convince everyone to come back here and check it out? You're great at that. Sure, okay, I'll do my best. Spectacular. Friendship emergency start. Greater differences would get in the way. Why not fusion them together? I think that's what we're going to do. Avery said to get everyone together. I kind of assumed they would still be in the general vicinity, but... I'm starting to have my doubts. I wanted to get up here to look around, but I, I don't think anyone's still around. I'm looking... Yeah, I don't think they're on this mountain anymore. I do you see a speed challenge though, so we're gonna go do that. We are not gonna do that. Where, where is that? It's like on another island. That is, or another, whole another zone. Oh, there's, there's one of them. I sense space monsters. Ah, it's you again, green one. So you finally realize the superiority of the sci-fi setting. Sure, yeah. Space is totally better than high fantasy, I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you a really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at a worse time. We're deep in enemy territory, surrounded by space monsters. Oh, that's fine. I fight all sorts of monsters. Space one should be no problem. Ah, uh, so sure of yourself, and you don't even have a blaster. Come to think of it, you don't have a protective suit either. How do you survive in the vacuum of space? Uh, magic? 
my cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic. Technology to surpass the Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. I smell a space monster lie. Could it be that you're native to this strange planet? But that could only mean... Ack, you've led them right to me. What a cunning ruse. Whoa, no, I'm not with them. Even if they do kind of look like me, that's weird. <laughs> if you're true to your word, then help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down covering fire from here. Yeah, why did you make all the monsters look like me? Impressive, green one. My apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay, after all, magic is just like science we don't understand, right? We can discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. <laughs> there is still danger afoot. Quickly, take this. Space blaster. It's a foam dart blaster, the ideal tool for loosing foam darts. Or for losing foam darts. Space aliens rarely travel in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until... Egad, another wave. Quickly, wizard, blast them all. This battle is nearly won, wizard, but whoa, we have awakened a most fearsome foe. The mothership, well, that thing's kind of cool. What the heck? Where did that even? There's no time. We must dispatch her before she summons an entire army. I must say, I never expected to defeat an alien horde side by side with a magician. Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in Fantasyland could be fun after all. I suppose I could bind my creativity to just one planet for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return to home base to consort with Avery on their discovery. Till we meet again, may you outpace the light that guides you, wizard. And may all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman. Oh, hey, I can make a lightsaber now. Alright, I guess I'll use it for a little bit. where the, uh, the bat character is. <laughs> the answer is definitely yes. Ah, a mortal bumbles into my dark domain. You did not heed the posted warnings, and now you will pay dearly. I'm the hero of legend. No evil monster can defeat me. Defeat you, ha. Huh? After your awful take on vampires, you're not worth the effort. No, your punishment will be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it? Haha, -ha, okay. Ouch, I guess. That shoulder sure was cold. Wait, I forgot I do have something important to tell you. Time out for a second. Hmm. No, really, it's a message from Avery. They want you to come see something cool and vampire-y at the amphitheater. Oh, hello, Wolfie! Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, yes. This game is really cute. Come on. You aren't cold-shouldering Avery too, are you? Hmm. Okay, okay. If you come back, I'll be a vampire too. We can do vampire stuff. Ah, as if I would grant you the honor. You aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. Now that I'm here, great. Oh, that's awesome to hear. I'm happy to have you here. I can be worthy. 
How do I be worthy? A fine question. What could you possibly offer me, an immortal being of the night? Who thirsts only for evil and desires only darkness? It would take an offering of nothing less than... Gasp. Ice cream? Ice cream? The ice cream cart is here. Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cone of my favorite sorbet, I will consider it a fitting apology. Really? Just bring you ice cream? From right over there? So tantalizingly close, isn't it? But alas, it is guarded by the sun, my mortal enemy. I have pleaded with the vendor in the past to join me in the shade, to no avail. Like, come on, it's one measly river to cross. Your cart can't be that heavy. Mortals sometimes. So yeah, this cave has many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some, and we will discuss your request for immortality. Well, alright. I suppose I would trade an ice cream cone for immortality. Oh, joy. A customer. And you're friends with that little girl in the cave. My lucky day. That's right! I'd like one ice cream, please. Sure. It's three bucks. Only three? That's a great idea. That's a great deal. Here you are, my good vendor. What is this? It's loot from quests. This is a torn up takeout bag. I can see the grease on this scrap. I need real paper. I don't understand. You know, cash? Dollars? It's three dollars. Okay. I hear what you're saying. I'll give you 300 of my loot for the cone. So the entire greasy takeout bag? No, I don't think my boss would appreciate that. Listen, if you don't have real money, I gotta get going. Uh, hold on for just a second. Hi, me. Hey, Esme, slight problem. The ice cream person isn't playing. They want three real dollars. Ugh, you see what I mean about that one? So needy. Do you have any adult money? I only have 50 cent. Wait, no, 55. I have 40, so almost a dollar between us. Hang on, I might know who has some more. Jill has joined the chat. Hi, Jill. Hey, Scales. Hi, Jill. I'm Esme. Hello, Esme. Nice to meet you. Jill, you usually have some money on you, right? Why, yes, Rogue Traveler, I have plenty of materials and would be happy to trade. No, like actual dollars. I'm on a quest to buy ice cream. Oh yes, I usually have ten dollars in case of emergencies. That's more than enough. Unfortunately, most of that is circulating through Gene's gig, gig economy at the moment. Oh. What? <laughs> I still have two dollars I can lend you. Oh, this, <laughs> this, the salesman is not di digging this. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. It's okay. I've got one more person I can ask. Big Sis has joined the chat. Hey, Sis. Hey. Hi, Big Sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Snappy's Big Sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. Snappy, what's going on? Could we possibly borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents. You want me to wire you a nickel? Yes, please. Um, are you still there? Sorry, I had to catch my breath. I just sent you six dollars. Get yourself one, too. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. Will do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you later. I do have other stops to make, you know. You'll be glad you waited, because I would now like two ice creams. Yeah, that was really sweet. <laughs> I like how it made her laugh so hard she had to catch her breath. <laughs> You're asking me for five cents for... for ice cream? <laughs> I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash. Oh, if you wait for another minute, I can go run and... No, it's fine. I'm sure I have an app or something. Here, send it to this account. Mm, done. Great. What flavor do you want? Sorbet, please. What kind of sorbet? There's more than one? Yes. Sorbet is just... different types of goop on ice. Um... 
This is for the cave girl, right? She always gets the same thing. I'll make two of those, okay? Ew, yes, two of those. For a second, I thought this quest was going to get even more bloated. What does that... Never mind. Ugh, scooping this one always makes me gag. Here, I'm leaving now. Enjoy. Then get ice cream. I got the vampire ice cream. It's red. This isn't the flavor I think it is, is it? I sure hope she isn't committing to the bit that hard. No mortals allowed. No mortal. Yeah. Here we go. Here is your ice cream, oh immortal one. Yes. Ahem, indeed, I accept this treat, and the great lengths you went to acquire it. Your past transgressions are pardoned, and I shall grant thy request. Prepare thyself. Psst. Here. Put these on. Oh, cool, thanks. Mwahaha, look at me. Now I am vampire, too. Kekeke, calm sibling of the night. Let us feast on the icy cream of your labor. Oh, right. You barely touched your ice cream, my pupil. Does something trouble you? Ah, uh, no, it's... What flavor did you say this was again? Only the darkest flavor for the darkest and thirstiest of monsters. I gotta go, later's plum. Have a nice day and see you next time. But before I go... <laughs> Thank you for the bonk, John. Have a good rest of your day and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Gulp. Black cherry. Oh, yum. <laughs> I thought this was blood. I'm done. Ready to go meet Avery at the amphitheater? Ke ke ke. Foolish snappy. I never agreed to return with you. What? But the ice cream. You accepted the mantle willingly. Now we are both bound to darkness. Don't you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kinda. But that is the vampiric curse. The desire for that which is just out of reach. Alas, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by to do our bidding. I was hoping it would be Cherry, too. Oh, right. <laughs> Colder than the grave. Stay in the cave forever. Not so bad in here. I keep a tidy space. And we can get you fitted for a nice coffin. Do you like romance novels? I don't actually have any with me, but I can recite some for you. Don't get too loud or the whole cave might collapse and crush us. I should probably stop thinking about musicals. You wonder what Avery is up to. Alright, I assume if I exit... No, don't leave the cave! Vampires can't go in sunlight! But I really want to. As do I. Yet we mustn't, for it would break continuity. Oh. So if there was a good lore reason we could leave? I suppose so. In that case, I have a solution that makes sense. Magic spell. Well, I may be a vampire, but I still have my hero magic. I cast my secret spell, Protecto from Sunno. Amazing, I never knew a heroic thrall had so many perks. Kick, kick, kick. Pupil, you have opened mine eyes. I only hope everyone else can accept my ways as you have. Yeah, vampire stuff is kind of fun. And tasty. As a token of my gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. I'll be back up the mountain, defiantly facing the brightest ray of sunlight I can find. Farewell. That was cute. I am a real mishmash right now. I have a nerf space gun, a lightsaber, which is very wiggly. I don't know what, what's up with that. And I'm a vampire. A lot going on here. Vampire space hero gator. <laughs> Leaving my cave couldn't be me. <laughs> Oh, wait, I've already talked to this person. 
Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, there was a bug around here. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Okay, we're going the right way. Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. Fuck, cattle don't pick their nose. Oh, it's you. Sorry, you kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cow folks usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no. Well... We were crossing the peaceful prairie, but Xander shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally I just let them tire themselves out, but they're real wound up this time. Sounds like you could use a hand there, partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha. I'll, uh, lasso up those cattle. Right quick. But you know, in a nice way. Normally I wouldn't ask for help from a stranger, but I guess you're a fan of Avery's. Alright, Snappy. Have a go at it. If you manage to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I want two cones, five cones, a hundred cones. Whoa, is that something shiny over there by your sister? Shiny? I want shiny. What is it? What is it? That was easy. Exercise is very important. I gotta get more exercise. Hey, last one to race back to your sister loses. Ready? One, two, three, go. Gasp, go, go, go. Ah, oh, there was a bug. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Rawr, I'm an evil prairie goblin, and I'm going to get you. Ah, oh, help, Velma. Help, help. There we go. Well, I'll be. You got them all. And in good time, too. I owe you one, Snappy. That's good to hear. Actually, because... Sissy, I want more ice cream. Dander, shush. I'm in character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? All right, oops. Ahem. Moo. Yeah, moo. Thanks for catching us, moo. Sure, heh. So anyway, Avery is. I still haven't found the bug. Did you check your nose? That's where mine was. Ah. Excuse me, all of you. Snappy is talking right now. Let's be respectful. Uh, your cattle sure are a handful, huh? Yeah, but I love them. Just can't help it. Ah, uh, okay. So the thing is... I hear ya. Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the gang back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe ya, so I'll be up there as soon as I can corral this lot. Ooh, yes. Awesome. See you there. Alright. Everyone should be back at the amphitheater. Time to get it to see Avery's big plan. Alright, well... Oh, I can't do both. Oh, I was hoping I could be like a combo of everything. But I can't wear both halves. I don't remember where the amphitheater is, so we're gonna have to find it. this way. I know I can build up speed doing this. Cute little adventure game. Hello, Heron! Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, there they are. Yes, this game is so cute. It's very char charming. Though I have seen the power of space-resistant magic, I'm still skeptical. It makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a farm. They're a prime abduction target. You threatening to abduct my kin? Huh? Not me. The aliens! You both haven't changed a bit. Uh, Avery, now might be a good time to tell everyone your idea. Really? You think so? Alright. Alright, everyone, here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes... ...and put hats on them? <laughs> Avery, the other idea! Huh? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? 
Oh, right, that idea. The idea that will make spacefarers, cowfolks, and vampires all come together as one. Oh, that ought to be good. I think that we should all get together and open a restaurant. A space restaurant? No, Andromeda, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does a restaurant have to do with vampires? Or frontier living? Or the vast expanse just past this meager sky? The answer to all those questions is very simple. I forgot. <laughs> what, Avery? Sorry, everyone. I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one of the violet ones in a witch's cap? Or a blue one in the littlest top hat? So cute. Well, maybe if I could just get another minute to think. I don't want to start a business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery, but I ought to get those rascals the treats I promised. Is this meeting adjourned? I have a field of asteroids that need navigating. Hmm. There's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field, too. You can't and you know it. Wait. Uh, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Runce. Let's ride. No, no, no. I can't let them leave again. Um. Um. Hey. What about food? Uh, what about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Velma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. Tiny, energetic waiters. Okay, I see where you're headed. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's probably not in space. But we have to cook the food on something. Maybe some advanced technology? Of course, warp technology on an Earth-bound planet will be unmatched in popularity. That is correct. <laughs> we are using... We will use the children for labor. And half of a restaurant is ambience. You'll need an interior decorator and a charismatic hostess. Definitely. And after everything, I think all that stuff fits into a fantasy world after all. What do you say, Valma? Shall we combine forces to show some mystical patrons truly out of this world cuisine? And don't forget a truly villainous atmosphere. Well, I do have to get these kids their ice cream. But I can handle two more goofballs when I get back. I'm in. Hooray! I'll start making the menu. I'll start folding napkins. I will draft some blueprints. Great. Let's split up and get started. I knew we would all get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, Snappy. Eh, sure. I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were creative? So about the playground? We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas, I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. Uh, I hope so, too. Awesome, we made more friends. Yeah, this game's really cute. And uh, I really like the art style. Welcome, valued patron, to Mount Bistro. Table for one, is it? We happen to have a very special hero of the whole world discount this evening. Any game that gives my brother something to do with all that energy is an A-plus in my book. I wonder if I can get him to keep playing restaurant with the dishes back home. The flavorizers on the molecular gastrometer are operating at full capacity. Thanks to science, our food is tasty all the way down to the last atom. I always say the perfect dining experience is marked by a healthy amount of fear. Will you enjoy your meal, or will you become the meal? Kick it, kick it. Tip well, and you'll never have to find out. <laughs> what are the kids doing? One garlic steak hold the garlic hold the steak. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I reckon we got ourselves a cookout. Number four to table eight in dimension 20 with extra parmesan. <laughs> Devious. What is that he, that he says delightfully devious, Seymour? This restaurant is uh, kind of spooky. Haha. <laughs> Can't beat these prices, though. <laughs> Alright, we have finished one of the main uh, quests, it looks like. I still have to find two more of my friends. Pretty sure it said one was by the windmill. You know what? Let's go stop by this city first. I 
Can I walk on these? That is so dangerous. Isn't one of these electrified? You know what? It's fine. They already said children are immortal in this world. Uh, where's the board where I build things? There it is. Hero. Oh, hero. Thank the stars you have finally reached your journey's end. Let us dance and be merry. Huh? Avery, no. We still have to impress Big Sis. Oh, yeah. Hero. Oh, hero. There is so much left to do. We're gonna need everyone's help to impress your sis. Luckily, I have the perfect idea that will give everyone a chance to shine. Ta-da! What about this? Oh, and this. And that should go here. How does everyone feel about this design? I'm feeling it. Well, I'm out of ideas. Oh, and do you think it will be good enough? Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. I think we did A-OK. -okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. We gotta show sis we're having fun. I declare this building done. Hooray! Juice bar. No milk. Alright. Looking good. Oh, the ice cream guy is here. I'd get chewed out if my boss found out I missed out on this many customers, so here I am. Awesome, can I please have a... Oops, sorry, we're all out of that. <laughs> oh, it's our sister. I can't bother Big Sis yet, we've got to finish the town first. Oh, okay. Hello. Just a sec, little tyke. An adult is talking on the phone right now. Why don't you go see if my daughter just up the hill there wants to play? I'm back. Where were we? Alright, well... Um, excuse me, that belongs to someone? Oh, oops. Hi, do you want to play? Ahem. That's no way to address a princess. Oh, sorry. Hello, your majesty. It is I, the green hero. Want to play? That's better. But I'm too busy to play. I'm setting tea for an important guest. Everything needs to be perfect by the time her diplomatic meeting is finished. I can help. Helping princesses is my heroic duty. Good, it's about time someone useful showed up. This ugly gray and brown clutter is blocking my pretty pink decorations. Clean this place up, but don't touch anything that's pink. Can do, princess. All done. Now we just wait for the guest of honor to arrive. That's her over there, right? I'll go let her know it's ready. No, we can't. No one is allowed to bother her while she's on the phone. How long has she been on the phone? Uh, feels like forever. But if you interrupt her, you'll get in big trouble. We just have to be patient. Hmm. You can't interrupt our guest of honor? Okay. I'm gonna go bug him. Excuse me. Hang on, Jones. Hey, Sprout, I really can't talk right now. Adults on the phone are very busy. Sorry to interrupt. I wanted you to know that there's a tea party waiting for you. You know my daughter's little party? No, she just started setting up. I've only been on the phone for... Oh boy, that long, huh? I really let the time get away from me. Hey, Jones, I'm at the park with my daughter. Let's pick this up another time. Yep, uh-huh. All right, bye. Thanks for the update, Tyke. I owe you one. So you bothered my mom, even though I warned you not to. Ugh, thanks. I get scared to talk to her sometimes, even though I know that. Ugh, never mind. I guess we have time to play now, so see you at the playground. Mmm, -hmm. best tea party snacks I've ever had. You weren't waiting on me too long, were you, sweetie? Ahem. Oops, I mean, thank you so, so, so kindly for the invite, princess. Eh. Now we should head for the windmill, which I th think is this way. Let's see if I've bought everything. Nope, I haven't bought that yet. I haven't bought the wand. We'll need to kill more enemies. Oh, hey, here's somebody. 
Are we going to have to play chess? Are you playing chess by yourself? Ah, Traveler, I see you are not familiar with the musings of a master strategist. I'm hard at work developing new tactics to best my opponents. Oh, okay. How's it going? To be honest, I'm not having much luck. Chess is an ancient, widespread game. It's hard to come up with a brand new strategy. Oh, uh, by the way, heads up, an ad is going to start in the next few seconds. Maybe I could help? As a master strategist, I doubt you could do anything that would surprise me. But if you'd like to try, go ahead and make your move. I'm afraid that no matter what move you make, I've already won. That's no reason not to try. Gasp! So reckless, so brutal. I never saw it coming. And now my king is in the mud. It's genius, exactly the surprising new approach I was looking for. How did you concoct such a bold strategy? As part of being the legendary hero, I guess. I had no idea I was playing with the hero. Please accept this in exchange for your wisdom. Oh, I can use a chessboard now. Oh, hey, there's more people. I must recruit them into my town. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? He's gonna jump in or what? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll go ask. Eh, water's real nice, eh? A crisp fall day like this? It makes you want, just want to jump right in. Pity. Can't swim. Oh no, I can swim really good. I could teach you. Really easy. See, first you submerge, so just your snout is above water, and then... Okay, 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 no, it's more like I won't swim. That's my fur all fluffed up. You ever heard of a floofy bull? Oh, well, actually, nah. No, really, I have no such thing. Just search on your phone. Just doesn't work. Floofy bull's non-existent. Oh, well, guess I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me weird looks all day. We'll never be friends at this rate. You could just talk to them. Absolutely not. I have to impress them first with a huge cannonball. But then I'll get all floofed, and then they... Okay, fine, hold on. Oh, I guess I can't push them in. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? You gonna jump in or what? Oh, he's a little, uh... He doesn't want to get all floofy. He thinks floofy bulls don't exist. What? Floofy bulls are definitely a thing. Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen at all. Floofy bulls are great. He's crazy. In my book, the floofier, the better. Can't swim. I get floofy. Look, dude. For one, floofy bulls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep, they're totally into floofy bulls. The existence of milk in a world with anthropomorphized animals begets too many questions. It does? Maybe that's why, uh, maybe that's why it says no milk. Too many questions. I just saw the ad. Do you know there are new ruffle flavors? <laughs> Hot dog and hamburger. Really? I wonder if they're any good. I'd be curious to try them, actually. What? Really? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> now I'm as floofy as can be. No one can take their eyes off me. Love the water. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to try them. Hot dog and hamburger flavored ruffles. Sounds weird, but maybe good. I usually prefer Doritos, but the ads made me want to test it. Yeah, I'm not like I, I'm not super into ruffles, but I'm not like against them either. So I'd be I'd be willing to try them. Finally, my ideal person, a perfect sphere. I must befriend him. <laughs> now I'm as floofy as can be. Love the water. Yep. Well, he wasn't kidding that he was going to get really floofy. I 
I'll need 300 for the chessboard. Quest protein chips are my fave, but man, so expensive. I've never heard- I don't know if I've ever heard of those. Oh, hello, new friend. You want to be friends already? Oh, I'd love to be your friend and join the game. Great. Let's do it then. Now, now, it can't be that easy. It needs a quest. Mm, let's see. Oops, I dropped my favorite oversized pencil. Quest time. Pick that up, please. Oh, okay, that works. Thing get oversized pencil. It's an oversized pencil. I think someone dropped this. My oversized pencil, thank you so much. Yeah, quest complete. Time to join the town, right? Of course, now to just... Oops again, Butterfingers, haha. Could you be a deer and pick that up, please? Uh, sure, okay. They are good knockoff Dorito flavorings on healthiest protein, low-carb air fluff chips. Oh, that sounds good. An oversized pencil seems really hard to hold onto for some reason. Can I use this as a, we a weapon? Ah, uh, my oversized pencil, you've retrieved it for me again. Yeah, uh, maybe hold on to it better this time? Oh, for sure, for sure. I'll keep a tight grip on... Whoops, there it goes again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Could you grab that one more time? Please. Ugh, fine. Blah, 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 it's a pencil, whatever. <laughs> Here's your pencil. Don't drop it again. Oh, I wouldn't dare. You know that. You trust me, right? Oh, my hand is slipping. No. Oh, here it goes. I'm not picking it up again. Oh, it's gonna go really far this time. Don't do it. Okay, fine. You got me. You win. Quest complete. New friend gained. I'm happy I didn't have to do that a fourth time. Hey, good buddy, I love your style. You've got a great balance about you. You a sidewalk surfer? A what? Haha, I'm asking if you skate. Oh, kinda. I'm getting pretty good at sliding around on my shield. Far out, far out. I was just setting up my own little park to shred if you want to stick around. There's this burly tech I've been trying to nail, but it's giving me so much grief. Basically, it boils down to me knocking out five skeletons as stylishly as possible. Um, what does knocking out skeletons mean? Haha, that's not slang. I borrowed some targets to help me practice. There are some kids running around making a bunch of wicked monster drawings. Those are for a game my friends and I are playing at the playground. You should come. Oh, intriguing. I could see myself chillaxing at the playground. But not until I nail this trick. Maybe you want to show me how it's done? I could try. Haha, my skater. The starting point is at the top of this grade. Knock out five skeletons without biffing it, and I'll consider a change of scenery. Consider it done. the other skeleton. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna guess this one. Oh! I didn't... I didn't think it would work if I touched the ground. Oh, there's someone up there. Eat. That was mad steezy, my friend. I pegged you as another green grommet. But you're a full-blown thrasher. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. Haha, no worries, my friend. Basically, great job, and I'll see you at the playground. Oh, I got a skateboard now. Welcome to Little Gator Pro Skater. Oh, it's 500. I'm gonna definitely buy that. Also, thank you. Thank you for the congrats. I really thought it was gonna make it 
make that harder. Like, I couldn't stop skating, but I thought I would just try it. This game is very forgiving. Oh yeah, we have a skateboard now. Hey, you think you're a hotshot, don't you? Well, hey, you're not. Hey. Ooh, what do you know? Oh yeah? Climb up this cliff and destroy the monsters on it. Eh, there's no way though, that's impossible. I have seen one of those that were good, but overly expensive. I liked it, but is it worth it, you know? I've never tried one of those chips, personally. Where do I want to be right now? Skateboarding... Hero? Artist? Vampire? Cowboy? You know what? I'm gonna go back to the... You know what? I'm kind of digging the cowboy hat. I'll keep the wand, too. You destroyed them all. I can't believe it. You climbed up the whole thing. I was so scared. It's so high. And the way you smashed them up. Wow. Just wow. Um, ahem. <laughs> Well, hotshot, I'm impressed. You've impressed me. <laughs> really? Here's your prize for being a hotshot, hotshot. Good going. All right. We've gained another friend. Oh, there's a shark. Traveler, I seem to have misplaced an important item. Sort of spiky and transparent and weird looking. I had just taken a breather, or as you would say, a swim, when I noticed its absence. Please find it for me, it's very important. Spiky and transparent. Spiky and transparent in the water. Wow, and then what happened? kind of weird if it went upstream. You know what? That wouldn't make sense. Junk for trash. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hi. I was probably going to whack this sign a few times. Is it yours? Yeah, it is. And it cost me my marketing budget for the whole month to make. That's a dollar twenty-five I'll never get back. I'd appreciate it if you didn't go swinging that thing around in its vicinity. Okay, sorry about that. I'll only knock it down if there's an emergency. An emergent... You gotta be... You so much as dent that sign, kid, you're gonna be in an emergency. Gotcha, only break the sign if I'm in an emergency. Just don't touch the sign. sure what I'm looking for. But they said they got it in the water. I can only imagine it went over.
spikes? Teeth? Some kind of weird spiky thing. Maybe someone lost this. Looks like a retainer. A clear plastic retainer. I found this weird spiky thing. Is this it? That's it. My retainer. I was right. My dad is always telling me not to lose it, but I lost it in. Ahem. Uh, thank you, Traveler. The magic in this item will help sustain my life force. Yeah, that works. Great, you really saved my scales. Thanks. Alright. Another friend has been attained. Okay, that's, that's like our big friend group. That I'm gonna need to do a big quest for. Well, that's right. This memory happened before the windmill was built, so it's clipping into it. That's a shame. This is probably my favorite memory on the whole island. If only I could see this amazing visual wonder. I so vividly recall just beyond this sheet metal. Oh well. Alright, well, we'll go talk to the, the big group. I wonder what they could want. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dude. Squark. Um, right back at ya. You know this kid, Martin? Yeah, don't worry, Lucas. We're tight. So tight. That's why we need you at the playground, Martin. The game is back on. Aunt, me and the crew are busy looking cool. Busy, but just standing there. Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. You sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. <laughs> Looking cool! Boom. It's a full-time job. Gotta respect the hustle. But the splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Oh, uh, yeah, that's how we like it. Playing in the water is for little kids, right, guys? Uh, yeah. Getting wet and everything? So cringe. Squawk? That's what I'm saying. What? No, it's fun. Don't you guys like fun? Eh, easier to keep it cool without jets of water everywhere, ironically. Mm, so you're too cool to have fun and the water being on would make you lose your cool? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm off to do nothing. Haha, <laughs> bye. Hey, Martin, your friend is kind of weird. Yep. That's my weirdo. This must be the water main. I'll just turn it on a little bit and they'll be having fun in no time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just a little turn. <laughs> Dang, this thing is rusty. Okay, just one big tug to get it open. One, two, three. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa, that's so sick. I mean, gah, this is the worst. Squark. Eh. Um, this water is cool, actually. Let's forget that other stuff and, like, have fun. Uh, who said that? Let's all listen to that. Snappy, come on, dude. I'm coming over there to turn that thing off. No, until you admit you're having fun. Fine, if you won't let up, we'll cut you off at the source. Quick, guys, go turn off the other pumps. I'll keep an eye on Snappy. You got it, Martin. Other pumps? There are three other tanks that pump water into this one. If they all get cut off... What gives, Martin? You love water parks. We went to Ocean World together last summer. Yeah, I know. I'd love to leave the water on. What? Why didn't you say that when they were here? You know, because it's not cool. And these guys are. You can't just say stuff. I just say stuff all the time. I'll show them how cool having fun is. Alright, Hotshot, how about a deal? If you convince all the others to turn their pumps back on, I'll walk away and you can do whatever you want. Deal. I know they'll agree eventually. The fun speaks for itself. That's a lot of confidence, considering you just drenched them all. But good luck. This is perfect. Together, Martin's pals are invincible. But alone, I'm sure I can find a way to break their cool. This is a great plan. Quest start. Well. This looks like it leads to one of them. You know you shouldn't do that. 
Ooh, what? Me? Nothing, I'm not doing anything. I was just coming over to say hi, haha. What you got there? A tree sprouted underwater, made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree? Yep, a magnolia, I think, but she's drooping now. If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Oh no, do you uh, need any help? Could use a twig and some grass clippings. Oh sure, I'll grab you some. Okay, I'll save this little tree, then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. Bing get clippings. This should be enough grass for whatever Jada is up to. Here you go. What are they for? Watch. Awesome, now it'll be okay, right? Maybe. What? No, maybe. Why only maybe? This puddle's stagnant. Water's shallow and stationary, so it gets dirty. I'll go get some fresh water. Oh, okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here, take this. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. This will hold a ton of water. Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. That's the ocean, though. I find... There's no way that... I don't... Okay, I guess salt water works. I got some fresh water. Great, pour it on nice and gentle. Wow, it looks so much healthier. Mm-hmm. Just needed a little support. Almost good to leave on our own. What do we do next? Don't know. Now, what do you mean? But can it be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it, but this one's sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But, but there has to be something. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. Get rid of what's blocking the sunlight. Oh, it's the sign. Oh boy, that, that guy's not gonna be happy. <laughs> I didn't even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, Snappy. Wanton destruction hasn't failed me yet. Yeah, I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Whoa, a whole leaf? Is she sure? Sure. Pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know how I said Magnolias need sunlight? Mm-hmm. They usually need well-drained soil, too, not too soggy. This one landed here, under three inches of water, beside a shady cliff, surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she sprouted anyway. Whoa, hardcore. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hey, Snappy, you know how plants need water to grow? Uh, duh. I'm thinking maybe our little gang does too. See ya. Oh, uh, what does that mean? Oh, the pump! I totally forgot. Let's get this thing turned on. Oh, I have a bucket hat now. I like my cowboy hat, though. By the pencil. There we go. I can't even mention your name before. What is it? Squonk. Oh, you're still doing the honking thing? Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying full sentences just a minute ago. Squa. Yes, you did. You said entire normal words. Squark, yes. Squonk, yes, you did. Honk again if I can turn the pump back on. Squat. Ha, gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Squawk. Ooh, hey, knock it off. Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend won't stop honking at me. I'm pretty sure the only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Squonk. Well, that's no reason to push somebody. All right, Snappy, let's all try to calm down. What are you going to do, sue them? 
You know what? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Court is now in session. Dude, I was kidding. You, whatever your name is, you stand accused of obstruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Squark. Very well, then I call Martin to the stand. To the stand. Ah, uh, here. I'm gonna ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait, so are you the lawyer or the judge? I'll ask the questions here, thank you. Martin, is it true that your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. Doubt. I don't believe you. I'm sure I heard that goose gap. Sorry, Snappy, that's not gonna fly. If you want to make this into a case, you gotta present hard evidence to prove me wrong. Dang, he's right. I have to call him out with everything I've got. Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. Lie. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know their name? Oh, uh, well, uh, Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? Yeah, well, you see, it must have been like what really happened was, uh, enough. The jig is up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Aha, I knew it. Straight from the goose's mouth. It's for the best. Now that my secret is revealed, I can legal battle snappy head on. Yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing. The case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke, if that is your real name. And I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. Oh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure, you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking on us. Cool. Later. Good luck with this. All right, Defendant Duke. Let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to. You could have told me that. Yeah, well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you, huh? I have a reason to believe otherwise. If that's so fine, then I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? Squad? No, I was being sarcastic. Don't you know how to reverse a psychology? Not even a little. But my expert detective skills tell me that there's another reason you pushed me. So, if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? But I do care, I... Squark, it's no use. Ain't getting nothing past you, Snappy. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the game. Can't go spilling milk just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. True. And according to my expert detective skills, they really believe they're telling the truth. That can't be true. I say stupid stuff all the time and Martin still talks to me. In fact, I can't think of any good friend that would do that. Something's fishy here. You really believe they would just drop you from the group? Of course I do. If I just want kids to school as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. I can't believe it, but that doesn't mean it's a lie. Something about this is super personal to Duke. I need to be careful what I say so I don't hurt their feelings even more. I know Martin pretty well. Are you sure you'd let that happen? Maybe not to you, but I'm another story. If I just want kids to school as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Sorry, Duke, there's something about your story that just doesn't add up. If the cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings, then they wouldn't be very cool at all. Are you crazy, Lucas? Jada and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island. If that's true, then they'd never do something so uncool. You can talk to them. No, Snappy, you're wrong. It just wouldn't work out. I know, because I've already lost another group of friends that way. Oh. What happened? One day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying. Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left him alone. I figured if I don't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed up everything last time. Wow, Duke. That guy sounds like a huge jerk. You don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. 
It hurt to hear, but what if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? I guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict, verdict is that your friends like you, and you should talk to them. Also, I sentenced that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. Squahaha. I'll... I'll try. Thanks, Snappy. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay. I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how you can make it up for me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. Listen, I'm just going to walk back to the splash pad and whatever happens, happens. I hope I see you there again. That was pretty sad. But you know what? It, it all worked out. Duke has better friends. Ooh, that was exhausting. And now I can finally sentence this pump to be open. Court adjourned. One pump left. Alright, so this way. Come on over here. Hi, Mr. Doddler. Hey, kid. Care to give an old geezer a hand? Some ruffians rolled through and left a heap of litter all over my roof. Yeah, that's not trash. Those are cool monsters for the game we're playing. It was your little friends that put them there, huh? Uh, doesn't matter to me who did it. I just need you to scurry up there and get rid of it. Very well, oh ancient sage. I shall clear your roof of these evil monsters. Mm-hmm. I got that stuff off your roof. You sure did. Yep, no more cardboard to worry about. Uh-huh. Suppose you're waiting for a reward. Yeah? Do you have any confetti to throw? Eh, uh, confetti? You brain spots always want a whole parade for a little hard work. Fine, fine, let me see what I got on me. Here, have a piece of candy. I got bubblegum. I'm gonna catch this person. No running. You! You! Have you met the cool kids? Oh yeah, I've met them. Whoa, and you even talked to them? Well, yeah, it wasn't that hard. Wow, amazing. Please, I need your help. I want to be their friend, but I'm scared I'll make a bad first impression. So which of these poses do you think they'll like more? One. Two. Three. Yes, yes, you're right. You're so right. With this pose, I'm unstoppable. I'll be best friends with the cool kids for sure. Thank you so much, Traveler. Oh, I can blow bubbles now instead. Too much momentum. Oh, the pump's all the way over here. Hello, Lucas. Hi. Don't mind me, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. Casual stroll to a remote island? Well, you're right, this is really out of the way. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, wouldn't it be great if you let me turn that pump back on? Nope, I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. They are, though. Everyone's totally into it. Because, um... Dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it, but the others didn't say one way or the other. Did... Did Martin really say that? Oh yeah, totally. Ugh, I can never tell what he's thinking. Was he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he gonna think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, whoa, slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. When I try to talk, I feel all the words jumbling around my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff. But those are just movies, right? No one really acts like that. Yeah, I think so. I've never felt like that either. But talking to Martin is easy. He always says what he's thinking. Oh, I know, he's so confident. How do you keep your cool so easily? Do you think maybe, could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Hmm, advice you say? 
Hmm, interesting. Hmm, perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you help me out, the pump is all yours. Aha, excellent. Wait, right here, I have the perfect... Wait right here, I have the perfect plan. This feels... Awkward. I was gonna say invasive. It's fine, a movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin. I'll say all the things you're supposed to say. Okay, uh... Wow, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on this island, minding my own business. Let's see. That's a good opener. Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Yo, Martin, let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Seriously? Sure, why not? It's a good show. Okay. Let's assume that I didn't bring a DVD of a three-decade-old TV series to the park with me today. Then what do I say? In that very unlikely event, I could only suggest... Do plants make the sun mad? Do you think the sun gets upset... Do you think the sun gets upset that plants eat sunlight? I'd be mad if something ain't me. You're asking me or Martin? Martin, we have debates like this all the time. Oh, well, I guess they don't actually eat the sun itself, just the light. Those harmless little bugs that eat dander. Oh, whoa, so you're saying we're, like, basking in the sun's dead skin right now? <laughs> oh my god, can we please talk about something else? Alright, if you want to skip ahead, I'd say something like... Martin, there's nothing that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. I mean, what's stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. Hey guys, working on something? Ah, Martin! Haha, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Uh, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait for you. Too cool, you really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Psst, go, 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 say the thing! Uh, something you wanted to say? There was, but I totally forgot. You know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang later. Just the two of us. Maybe that'll help you remember. Wait, why wait? I'm game right now. Cool. Let's roll. Cool. Later, Snappy. Wait, did they resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, no, they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Bus complete. Now to get this pump started. Okay, that's all the pumps done. Time to head back to the splash pad. Might as well take this with me. Now I'll always have Martin by my side. Oh, we can get a detective cow. I'm running low on, on junk. Oh boy, litter. I can't believe people just throw stuff wherever. I know. We can rinse this off and recycle it for the game. I'm going to clean up the environment. After I wash my hands, yuck. I'm not sure if this is a quest of some kind, or if it's just another way to get resources. You look like a kid that gets their hands dirty, am I right? Uh, I've seen you scurrying around grabbing things off the ground. You know what I see in you? Potential. I happen to be a connoisseur of fine junk, such as these specimens you see before you. You wouldn't happen to want them, would you? Uh, probably. 
Yeah, I knew it the moment I laid my eyes on you. You're a trash fiend, just like me. I haven't seen a pickup game like yours since I was in diapers and my dear mother was changing them. You mean the cans? Thanks, I've been cleaning up the environment. Oh ho ho, heart of gold on this one, eh? But whatever... Well, whatever, trash gets... Well, whatever gets trash in cans. You have my heartfelt respect, and my doors are open to you. Thanks, so can I have one of these? You may have misunderstood, compadre. My shop is open, but I still have to make a living. Aw, oh, what? I still gotta buy it? Afraid so, but I'll sweeten the deal with some exclusive insider info. No extra charge. Re, yes, let's hear it. You're aching for trash. Take a dive in a trash can. What? You root around in trash cans? That's disgusting. They're a one-stop shop for the strong of constitution, provided people have the decency to use them. If you're squeamish, just knock them over. Boom. Now it's litter. Your specialty. Blech, I don't know. Suit yourself. Not my business where you get the trash as long as you can pay. And when you are ready to pay, my wares are ready to browse. So what'll it be? Trash picking stick. Ancient gong. Disassembleizer. Oh, now there's a squirt gun. Oh, it's 600. I want that, that squirt gun. Finally, I have defeated everyone's cool. Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's stuck again. Is it coming? I guess you guys all wanted the wander on after all. It's whatever. We were being kind of dry. Wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same, I'm down for a splash sometimes, but it's cool hanging with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that, just I didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk about it. <laughs> that one guy is in the background. <laughs> Anything you want to add, Duke? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Cool. Actually, I got an idea if I, th I think you fellas might like. Whoa, the Duke speaks! It's an honor. What's the plan? I guess since this is our turf and kids are out here making towns, why don't we make this place a town of our own? Well, yeah, we could all be the mayors of Coolsville. I see some great spots for a few houses, maybe a lounge. All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Great idea, dude. Ah, uh, you think? Aw, oh, Squark, you guys are too good to me. There's one more thing any good town needs. I bet we'll see it any second now. There it is, the main attraction. Huh, this isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. I was surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention Coolsville is looking dope. Yeah, so are ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know it, dude. Keep the place warm for us. Quest complete. And look at all these new friends. And look at this trash.
Good thing this this uh, nerf gun has unlimited darts. All right, we gotta advance the town a little more. came over. Hey Martin, what does the cool crew think of the place? Good, it seems like everyone's found something they can vibe with. The mayor's of Coolsville formally recognized the playground village as a sick place to be. Are you ready to make it even sicker? Yeah, I got an idea or two. Take a look. I don't know, I'm feeling something like this. Just need a few extra hands, want to give it the green light? Yes. Hmm, what do you think? You know what, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, this is definitely a place I would engage in some wicked commerce. You can mark it off as finished. You okay? You look worn out. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I've just been holding that pose for a long time. I just need a minute. And then it's back to being... being unstoppable. Oh, hey, the shark's here. I just have to go into the last area. You know what? I thought I would finish the game today, but I don't know if I'm going to. This game's uh, longer than I thought. Which is fine, because it's a very fun game, but... For some reason, I thought it would be, uh, it would be short. Buy that squirt gun. I think the next zone is going to be that big tree over there. Oh, there's a chest up there. I'm going to grab that real quick. Then we'll go by the squirt gun.
the trash is over here? Yes, it is. Paint blaster. Oh, more stuff. Mini trampoline. Oh, okay, so it's like the dark gun, it's just... Now it makes paint. You know what, that's fine. really bounces. I just like the simplicity of the skateboard. It took me forever to find that spot. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in there. Yeah, I was just grabbing a nap. There's supposed to be some big game soon. That's happening right now at the playground. Aw, oh, jeez. Guess I needed a wake-up call after all. Won't be needing all this extra bedding anymore. Here you go. My new friend, Pot Kid. I wonder if the, the bracelet salesperson is up top. This tree. We must climb. Yep, I knew it. I can see them up there. I bet it's gonna be a lot of a lot of junk I probably don't have. How much? Ha ka, ka, sharp talons, razor beaks. And bracelets, where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Here, you lack the coin. Turn to me with proper coinage. Ah, oh, I need 500. Are you talking to a fly? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone could hear me. I'm trying to get a good photo of that bird in that tree. How come? Um, well, there's a study group from a fancy prep school in the park today. And if I hope if I share my bird studies with them, they'll let me join. But I don't have any good pictures, and the bird I'm watching hasn't moved in hours. Hmm, maybe if you throw something up there, it'll get spooked and fly off. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't want to risk hurting it. But I guess if someone climbed up there to scare it off, that would be okay. Well, I guess I'm going to climb a tree now.
There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got the perfect photo. Okay, okay, I can do this. I'm gonna go show this to the Paragons. Here's something for you. Taking nature photos sounds like fun. I wish my phone camera wasn't so old and low res. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, I can't afford that right now, but... There's a whale. Um, excuse me. Could you please help? Could you please help me? There's something stuck in my blowhole. It's making it hard to breathe. Could you please climb up there and see what it is? Get it out. Wow, that feels much better. Thank you. Feeling much better now that you pulled that whatever it was out of me, thank you. Did you go somewhere once you were done? Your blowhole blasted me into outer space. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, it was awesome. Oh, well, um, if you ever want to do that again, feel free to climb up there, I don't mind. What is this? Oh, now we can buy a space helmet. Oh, no, I already did. Gotta go back to the big tree, which is over here somewhere. Wonderful, another beauty joins your collection. I got another bracelet. Wow, I'm so excited. Think of all the new things I could climb. It seems that my time here is short. I must take flight. Goodbye. Now I have all this incredible climbing power. This area is really pretty. I like all these, like, fall-colored trees. Making it kind of hard to find people, though. La la la, no one can see me. I am invisible. I can't be seen. No one approaches, they can't see me. Where's that noise coming from? I hear someone talking, but where could it be coming from? There's no one here. <laughs> where is that mysterious laughter coming from? Is there a spirit here? Ah, you can hear me, Traveler. Only people attuned to the magic can hear my voice. A gift for a friend such as you. Oh. Okay, well, good thing I didn't say I can see it. I probably would have ruined it. Oh, there's another person. Hi, I'm doing a big game at the playground in a... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't really want to talk or move or think right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. There are some other kids across the lake. They might want to play with you. I'm not in the mood to play, but the kids across the lake might be.
They... <laughs> Is this a ninja? Hey, um, have you... Hey, um, you have a lot of paper. Yeah, I'm collecting it for a gamer point. Can I have some? How much do you want? Um, a few sheets? I guess. I don't know how many that is. How much would you need in, let's say, very small torn up pieces? I don't know. How about 500? 500? Sure. Can I have 500? 500 is kind of a lot. I don't think I should give away that much. No problem. Oh, well. Gonna need to collect more paper. What do you want? Whoa, I was just gonna ask if you wanted to play. Sorry, sorry, I'm mad at someone else. We were supposed to do this together, but never mind. You wanna join our ninja village? I was gonna ask you to join my village. An alliance between villages, then. I will accept, but only if you prove yourself capable and loyal to our cause. Stepping on that sigil will summon five members of the Shadow Clan, our mor mortal enemies. I need to feed all of them as fast as you can, and I will judge if you are a worthy ally. I'd see from up here. Wait, there it is. There we go. Well done. You have proven your loyalty and aptitude. They never they never knew what hit them. Please accept this gift in honor of our new alliance. There's one more thing if you're up for it. Now that I know I can trust you, I have a, fa I have a favor to ask. I shall do anything for the strength of the alliance. I need to I need to put a hit on someone. Well what? A hit? Like you want me to. Get rid of them? What? No. Is that what that means? <laughs> no, I just want you to hit him. Like on the leg, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. I know you usually hit monsters, but a monster is just what he is. The things he said are so unspeakable, he was banished from the clan. What did he say? I told you, it's unspeakable. I bet he's still sulking around on the other side of this lake. Take this and remind him that he's never welcome back here. Nunchaku. I got the nunchucks. Guess I'm supposed to hit somebody with them? Alright, I guess I'm gonna hit this guy. Are you the one that got banished from the ninja village? Yep, that's me. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hit you. Go ahead, this game isn't fun anymore. I might as well get it over with. <laughs> Ow. I'm not feeling so good about this anymore. It's fine. They don't want me back, and now I'm out of the way forever. Can't we just talk to the chief and let you come back? He'd never let me back after what I said. What did you say? I don't even want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk to me either. Maybe not, but I'm an ally of the ninja village. I'm sure he'll listen to me. Come on, let's give it a try. Okay, if you lead the way, I'll talk to him. We're back. We? You brought that traitor with you? He seemed pretty upset about being banished. Can't you guys talk it out? I'm not listening to a thing he says unless he's gonna say. Sorry, Romeo. I got heated and said some things I didn't mean. Season 3 still isn't my favorite, but I shouldn't have said those unspeakable things about it. Huh? Well, okay, I know Season 3 isn't to everyone's taste. At least we can agree that Season 2 is superior to Season 1. Totally, the fights in that one were the best. You guys were just arguing about a TV show this whole time? Um, we're talking about Buckle My Black Belt, the greatest show of all time. You haven't seen it? It's the best. There's this part where the ninja clan faces a dragon. And the part where they split up in the ice maze. And when they go to the mall. Okay, I'm glad you can talk about it together again. Me too. You may not have done the job I expected, but I think you earned this anyways. Well, they're ninja friends again. So that's good. I 
need more. I need more junk. I need to be able to finish that quest. It looks like I just got a shout out from Egg. Uh, thank you, Egg. It looks like you're streaming right now. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And that should be 500. Okay, back to the ninja village. I have 500 paper. Yes. Thanks. Here. Oh, I got a shuriken. Hope you like them. Thanks again. Thank you, too. Yes, please. Now we are a ninja. Oh, I can get the ninja headband, too. <laughs> Perfect. I want to do all the little quests around here before I do the main quest, but I kind of feel like I may have already done it, like done everything over here. Hard to tell because it's so, uh, so many dense trees here. Feels like someone would be over here. Oh, yep, there's someone. You, be my friend. Oh, hey, you're the hero kid, yeah? That's me. Bad news, I had a flash of inspiration and created the greatest obstacle course ever made. That doesn't sound like bad news at all. Problem is, I kind of took it too far. Once you fire it up, monsters show up in really precarious spots. It's like insanely sketchy. If there's no challenge too great for the green hero, I'll give it a try. Nope, sorry, it's too hard. At least let me try it. Can't, it's impossible. I can do it. No way. Watch me. other monsters. Uh, it would have ended if I was done. Oh no. Where's the missing one? There was some over there. You know what? I think I'm only supposed to shoot the monsters. Wait, was 
that not it? I told you, the green hero triumphs over impossible odds. You sure showed me gravity has nothing on the green hero. Next time you should probably wear like a helmet or something. I don't need a... Actually, that's probably a good idea. Oh, I can... I can pair a helmet with my skateboard. this game has like an in-game list I can reference of like all the kids because I feel like I'm missing some This game has an achievement for destroying all the cardboard. I mean, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not sure I'd want to do it. But I wonder if it is a thing. I think I recruited everyone over here. Let's go to the big tree. You know what? It's kind of starting to look like the cardboard regenerates. Hi, Jill, what's up? Great timing, Scales. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogarth. St. Hogarth, that's the prep school you're studying for, right? The very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hogarth. This is Jean and Antone. Or maybe it's Antoine. I'm not sure. Here's a small but motivated study group. We're a small but motivated study group, always looking for new members. Speaking of, Jill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for independent projects? Oh, um, I don't know if that would uh, appeal to Snappy's interest necessarily. What? What's independent projects? Some kind of game? I can play. It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. I'm scouting the forest for evidence of paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching old bartering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I catalog beetles. Those don't sound like games at all. It sounds like in you invented schoolwork to do alone. Pretty much, a signed fall reading is no challenge at all for the Paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. Plus, it's fun. 
and extra credit. But all this work, and if our break is only so long, right you are, Snappy. We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to move out and get started. Aragons. Perambulate. We're working on the catchphrase. Geez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park and they're gonna waste it on imaginary work. Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales. I want to help you win your sister over, really. But if St. Hargarth is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project, first of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. What? But it's fall break. There's time for a million projects later. We should be having fun. Sorry, Snappy. I guess I have to choose adult stuff this time. Bye. See you. What's going on here? She was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know how. That's it. Jill's friends don't know how to have fun. If I can convince them to join the game, they won't have time for imaginary homework. And Jill won't have to work so hard. I should try doing these projects with them to gain their trust. I may even have to learn something. But it'll all be worth it to save my friend. Alright, quest start. skateboard with the nunchuck. Oh, hey again, Snappy. Have you decided to, to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah. I'm uh, thinking about it. Wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. Rock engineering is all about building tools and systems for safe and efficient excavation. Oh, huh. To do that, it's important to understand how strength, size, and temperature affect rock fracture during mining. Ooh, uh-huh. A single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave in and devastate the lives of... Wait a second. Mining, rocks, tools, strength? You're just like a blacksmith. It is exactly like a blacksmith. Or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. That's great. My friends and I are building a fantasy town at the playground. You should come be our blacksmith. Sounds admissible as community service, I would be honored. Unfortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a paleolithic, paleolithic artifact around here. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of things heroes do. That's so. Hmm. In that case, I have devised a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero, heed the plea of this adroit metal rite. I seek an enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. You need a rock from the beach? Yep, pretty much any beach rock. As long as it's overflowing with magical power. Bring a nice sparkly beach rock here, and together we will forge something that will blow you away. Can do. They loved it. The Paragons loved my notes before I even showed them the photo. But the photo was a big confidence boost. Thanks for the help. Hi, Anton. Hey, so you're like the beetle guy? Just a normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishap that will transform me into the beetle guy. Huh? Never mind. Did you need something? Yeah, I'm getting people together for a game and there's a Legend of Hero character you'd be perfect for. A beetle-related character, I assume? Yeah, they love beetles and they talk funny and sell you rare stuff. It'll be fun. I'll pass. Oh. I've got my own rare beetles to find. Oh, that's okay. Do you want help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find that beetle so fast you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush. But another pair of eyes couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. Oh, that one. I've seen that one in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. They're native to this forest, but not common. Are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. And they're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so about as fast as us. You have to surprise it. Gotcha. They eat rotting wood and fruit. I usually look around fallen trees. Gotcha, gotcha. Also listen for a sandpaper sound they make. They stridulate their abdomen against their elytra, too. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. 
me whenever I play Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> I have all the beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right. Well, take this in case you see one. Got the bug now. Go to Revil, I'll take whatever you can find. Alright. We will catch a beetle. I also need to go find this beach rock. Well, that looks like something. The beach rock. I mean, enchanted ore. Suzanne can smith this into something cool. Maybe it'll be a magic sword or an amulet. I can't wait to see it. Oh, that was convenient. Now we just need to look for a dead tree. Oh my gosh, it's right there. There it is. That's a Hercules beetle. I'll have to move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just barely tip-tap in the direction. Soft as possible. <laughs> Oof, I tripped. My cover's blown. That was hilarious. Figured. Hey, you got it. Ooh, sure did. Thanks for the assist, Snappy. I guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay too. Sprinting and flailing is all I do. Hey, is, it, is your Sherpa Kate now? Oh, yeah, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's still okay. It's just I'm more that I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be a hunter or something. You can totally be a hunter. Even a monster hunter if you want. Sure. And if there are too many people around, I can go hunt into the wilderness for a while. Yeah, hunt some wilderness monsters. Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah, wait. I might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but you wouldn't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Aha, uh -huh, okay, happy hunting, bye. I got the ore. Great, the forge is hot, and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here and we'll get started. Wow. What, is it a good rock? It looks like basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt is perfect because it's an easier to break to, because it is easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. Not to mention the fault lines are superb. It should fracture into the shape we want all on its own. Did you know that right around the time Paleolithic animals evolved to walk upright, they would... Alright, yes, it's a good rock. Aha, uh -huh, sorry, yes, it's a really good rock. And it has cool lines. Which of course means it is very magic. Now all we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure? Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it a bunch. You know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence. I can do violence. And have at it, hero. Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Everything is perfect. Oh. Do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? I do. Do you feel the Earth's power surging through your bones? You did it. You fractured it. It has reached a critical state. Brace yourself. One final touch should stabilize it. I'm going in. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Almost there. Ha. Ah. We did it. We did it. The transformation is complete. From ash and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? Is it a magic sword? Oh, is it a laser wand? A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than all that by a landslide. This is a historical landmark. Have a look for yourself. You have earned this noble tool. Thing get. Paleolithic tool. It's a rock attached to a stick with a piece of string. And some lines on it, I guess. Is this it? Don't you see, Snappy? This isn't just a rock and a stick. It's transformative. 
In the footsteps of the engineers of old, we forged the foremother of all tools from nothing but the Earth's bounty. It must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now, since our two very distinct lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinct, in which case... Ah, no more lore, please no more. Haha, uh -huh, suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for today. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons are finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang around and hear all about... Nope, thanks for the rock. See you there, bye. We now have Rock Hammer. We'll have to buy more things. Let's buy another, another hat. Buy the ninja headband. That is 400. Never mind. Go back to ranch for now. Oh, there's the other person. They're up here. My word, if it isn't the great hero who seeks to unite us all at the heart of the world. Whoa, you already know about the game? A good marketeer must always keep their nose in the latest news. I adore the idea. I've already devised a quest for you. Awesome. Better yet, I've incorporated elements of my research project. Aw, oh, man. Around here, paper currency is scarce, but our hearts and lunchboxes are brimming with life. The conditions are perfect to experience real-life bartering. A cupcake for a keychain, three juice boxes to build a fence, that sort of thing. I have paper currency, sort of. It's paper. Unfortunately, I lack even half your creativity with rock confetti, so it holds no value to me. However, I do have a heroic service I need to be performed. Maybe you'd be up for it. Well, I guess if it's a heroic service... Up on that nearby hill, in the land where the leaves never change, there was a horde of shape monsters. Shape monsters? You mean shapeshifters? You might catch them doing a pinch of shifting, but mostly they just shape. Whatever they are, they have a small chance to drop a small yellow triangle. Heroes are all about getting yellow triangles. I knew you'd appreciate that. Once you have the yellow triangle, I'll trade you anything in my shop for it. Cool, what's in the shop? Right, of course, let me get it all laid out. Here it is. A fine selection, I dare say. Have a look around if you like, otherwise I wish you safe passage in the hills. Saki gum wrappers. Silvered spitballs. How about this? A sprig of magical springtime grass, the greenest, most vibrant grass you'll ever see. Uh, it was much greener when I gathered it back in spring, of course. What about this one? You have a keen eye for finery. This is my only product that isn't made of garbage. Can you believe my mother was throwing it away? It was once a serving dish, but can only dream of how a clever hero might put it to use. Put it to use? It's pretty. I think I'll pick this one. Splendid. I look forward to a lucrative trade. You are about a triangle away. We will destroy them all. How rare is this drop? Yeah, apparently pretty. Half a cheese sandwich. Finally, I must have cleared out the whole forest for this. Yellow triangle? Not the kind I was expecting, but it might be what, must be what Jean wanted. Time to trade up. Back, Gene. Is this the yellow triangle you wanted? I had to fight my way through the entire forest, but I got it. Oh yes, it is, but I'm well about that. Hi, Snappy. Check out all this cool stuff I just brought. I just bought. It was going to cost me a bushel of apples, but I didn't know what a bushel is, so I huggled it down to two apples. What, Gene? It's, uh, well, you were taking a while to find my lost lunch, and I was getting very hungry. I got a bit desperate. Oops. You can't just sell the whole shop while I'm doing you a heroic service? No, of course not. Very bad form. Well, this is quite the pickle. Wait, Snappy, did you want to buy some of this stuff? I was supposed to get one as a crest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle. Haggle? Uh, well, let's see. Esme will want the grass for rituals. The shiny beads are perfect for Andromeda. 
I was going to use this weird frisbee as a serving platter, but I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark, cutthroat world of comp competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, half a cheese sandwich? But, only, but who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Seriously? Yeah, I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. Binget. Platter. Finally, I got this really fancy-looking big plate. Man, bartering is easy. Sorry you won't have a fancy plate to put your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh, dang, you're right. That's okay. With my bartering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. Haha, you'll have your own plate mobile. Away I go in my amazing patent-pending plate mobile. Bye, Snappy, bye. Well, that was fortuitous. You got off the hook easy. I hope you learn not to make promises like that next time. Absolutely. From now on, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. I guess this means the research project is cancelled, huh? Evans, no. This kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence was inspiring. If I can convert the raw materials lying around into more goods, I can stimulate even more such trades. Say, you're good at making things. How about a business partnership? Ah, dang it. That's all of Jill's friends. I did so much boring work. And it backfired. Every single one of them just got even more into their project. I had to tell Jill the bad news. Jill, your friends are... I don't know how to say this, but they're nerds. Hey, Jill. Sorry, my quest was a complete failure. Quest? What quest? I was trying to get everyone to have some fun so you wouldn't have to work so hard, but it didn't work at all. Gene is like trying to inject economy theory into the playground. What? Yeah, and then Tone and I found this awesome beetle, but he only wants more beetles. Wait, really? I thought Suzanne was going to do something fun, but instead she just made some kind of authentic Paleolithic tool or something. Wow. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't. I've got to see this. Huh? She ran off. Weird. Should catch up with her. Hey, Jill. You all right? You ran off. Oh, sorry, Scales. It's just that everyone's project sounded so exciting. I couldn't wait to take a look. Exciting, really? You bet it was exciting. We've all had a great time playing your game, Snappy, and we have a lot to show for it. Absolutely we do. I wouldn't have learned half as much about trade if it weren't for them. You've been a big help. I mean, you guys were having fun the whole time? I thought you only cared about school stuff. Of course our education is paramount, but a growing mind needs rest and recreation as much as study. Mental health awareness is one of the premier Paragon pillars. Oh, cool. Does that mean Jill won't have to work so hard? <laughs> I suppose I got carried away worrying about keeping up. If all of these star scholars can make time to play, then so can I. Aw, Jill, you flatter us. Great, so, uh, see you all at the playground? Count on it. Quest complete. Alright, back to the... Back to the playground. I think we're... I, mean, I really don't know, but I think we're done with the game. I mean, I've done all the major quests. And all... The town looks complete. Oh, there you are. Snappy. I'm so excited to get started. I even made a character for myself based on my favorite board game. She's a cleric in the court of the Corgi Countess. Provided that she uh, fits into your narrative. Sure, I guess, as long as it's not an evil countess. Eh, <laughs> don't be silly, she's lawful neutral. Oh, okay. Got any other good ideas? You bet I do. I've got a whole project mapped out already. Ah, I can't wait to show you. Looks like a church. Here's a look at my plan. As soon as we have some volunteers, I'm ready to get started. Do it. What is a church? Ah, snappy, it's even better than I planned. Do you think Sis will be impressed? I can't speak for her, but I know I couldn't be happier. Everyone did a great job. I think we can call this project a success. That's the last building. Playground Town is officially finished. I guess that means it's almost time to show Big Sis. But, uh, I should tell my friends first. Yeah, let's check in with Jill, Martin, and Avery. Well, what do you guys think? 
Good looking town, if I do say so myself. Last chance to actually talk to your sister before thrusting this all upon her. Oh, Martin, don't be like that. It's beautiful, Snappy. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, great. I'm sure this will be enough. You're the one who knows your sis best. If there's anything else the town needs to be perfect, now's the time to do it. Because after this, there's no going back. But what? Like, not at all? Nah, I'm just kidding. You've got all day. Oh, haha, <laughs> cool. What do you say? Are you ready to show the town off? On second thought. Actually, let's wait just a bit longer. Everything's uh, not quite ready yet. No problem. We'll be right here when you're ready. Don't keep us waiting too long. I would like to know if I got everybody. If I go talk to Tom, Tom might know. Oops. How would I know if I've gotten everybody? I found all of the friends. It says that... Actually, I, I know I, there's no way I could have. Now that I think about it. Uh, I guarantee I would have gotten an achievement. An achievement or something for that. I don't think I rescued the giraffe. I just looked it up and it said there's a giraffe friend. On the start at the tutorial island. Someone right here. That is a fluffy dog. Hi, hi, hi. I'm playing. I'm playing the big game. Great. Do you have a quest for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a big quest. Big quest for the big game. Okay, what is it? Oh, yeah. What is it? I don't know. I know, I know. Do a flip. A flip? Yeah. Do a big flip. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to equip the ragdoll. Yeah, 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 you did it, you did it. Here you go. See you later, bye-bye. Well, that's one more friend. Oh, there's another person. Are you okay? No, I tripped on a rock and fell into another rock. And then I sat, when I sat, I sat on another rock. Why are there so many rocks on this stupid mountain? Oh, uh, well, everything will be okay. Uh, there, there, I'm sorry that it hurts. Here, have a pat on the head. Other people like those. That does feel a little better. Actually, it feels a lot better. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Here, you can have all my extra bandages. All those spikes could poke someone's eye out, but... Oh, yep, that's a spear. I better check over here more, since apparently I didn't even look. Wow, I didn't check out any of this. No, this is the pot. Yeah, this is the pot smashing guy. You know, this game would really benefit from a map. Okay, it 
said there was a giraffe, and I don't remember if I helped a giraffe or not. Oh, there's also a chest I never opened. Uh, let's re-equip. did help the giraffe. Okay, hopefully he'll still be around here somewhere. Alright, we're gonna look around. kind of stuck here. Could you help me out? What happened? Hold on, I'll break you out of there. Oh, freedom. Yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business. Meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature. When suddenly, these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that's my fault. Me and my friends placed these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. Aha, uh -huh, sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I would have broken out myself, but... After staring at the designs of these creatures long enough, I fell in love. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. I couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. I only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Ah, oh, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Oh, okay, well, if we run into each other again, maybe you could help with the game? Hmm, mayhaps. Only time will tell. It's a slime hat. I'm gonna save it though in case I need the money. Alright, let's see what else I have to do. Great oak. I helped Aster. Um. I have not done that yet. Alright, more friends. Be up there. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm gonna get up there. This isn't gonna work. Oh, that is then, though. Alright, well, we just have to get up there. so much stamina to climb a, a mountain. Alright, 
right, here we go. Are you guys eating lunch? That looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Uh, me either. Maybe we can give it to someone else? I'm hungry. You guys should definitely eat something. Nutrition is important. But you're going to give it away anyway. Maybe you can give it to each other? Oh, like a trade? That sounds perfect. Who wants mine? Oops. Um, never fear, folks. The green hero shall solve this lunchtime puzzle. I'll talk to each of you and figure out which lunch would be the best for which. Oh, cool. Salty. Small. You can have the chips. Probably would like the lasagna. And, uh, white and healthy. Well, you should take the apple. I'm stuffed. I feel healthy and strong. I just got what I wanted. Thank you, green hero. Happy to help. We should go do something at the playground now. Yeah, good idea. See you there. left. Let's see. Who's left? Someone by the playground that didn't. Oh no, I already did that. Okay, I think I finished the entire oak area. kids in this game. Oh. I don't know if I did that. No, I did do that. I said I might be a little lost. close to finishing the game, so I'd like to 100% it. That's alright, I'm already here. Well, no, I should go to where I want to go. Follow the guide. Also, I say I'm following a guide, but it's actually not really a guide. There's no map. So it's very loosely just saying, like, there's someone in this general vicinity. There's someone over here. So, I don't know how much it's actually really helping.
burning his heart. Oh, it's the whale again. Hello again, nice to see you. If you want me to throw you a pie. Oh. It makes it sound like there's someone over here. But, uh... Oh, I think I already found this person. No, that's Darcy. What? Hey, Palia, want to make some stuff go boom? Yes, absolutely. I wish more people said hello that way. <laughs> that's the spirit. Wait right here. I'll get something that'll blow you away. Whoa. Uh, are you? Whoa. Okay. Feast your eyes on this. I got a firecracker stuck inside a bowling ball. I don't think I've ever seen something this dangerous in my entire life. And now I'm holding it. Awesome. That Opel of mine is my greatest creation yet. Roll that down to the end of a tunnel and set it off, and you can cause all kinds of chaos. Want to take it for a tumble? There's nothing I want more in the world. I like your style, Palio. Jet to that spot right there and I'll lay out some targets for you to blow up. I might even give you a little prize if you get them all. Oh. That was explosive. I'm all fired up. We better scream before anyone comes sniffing around. Take this and have a blast. Later. Now I have bombs. Seems dangerous to give a kid, but you know what? I guess they're fine. I want to go up there. Island, I should say. Alright. We're back to looking at the guide. Uh, the problem is, it's not really helping me at this point, because I've helped, I've gone so many places and been playing for long enough now that I don't really remember everywhere I've been and everyone I've talked to. Like, when I... And this doesn't have uh, pictures of any kind, so I'm just having to like ask myself: Do I remember? Do I remember that name and general area description? I I feel like I've pretty thoroughly explored this mountain area. I'm gonna choose to believe that.
I already did that. Hmm. I really want it to 100% the game, and I feel like I'm so close to it. But I don't know if I want to spend the time to do that. But I think I'm super close. Like... There's not a master list I can pull up of everybody. Okay, I know I finished this area already. I know for sure I finished off this zone. I know this area is completely clear. There's not that many kids over here, thankfully. And I just did it, so I do remember these ones. So that's good. So... I know that the starting tutorial island is done. And I know that that forest where the the paragons were is done. I guess I'm not a hundred percent sure I cleared this area. Oh nope, there's one right there. Ah, just enjoying the presence of my new creations. It's so nice to express your creativity and bask in all your hard work. You sure you're not in danger from evil monsters? Huh? Sure, evil monsters. Go ahead with whatever game you're playing. If you don't mind, I'm just going to keep basking. I guess I should destroy them. You broke them all. Yep, I saved you from scary monsters, right? Haha. <laughs> no, I put hard work into those. You just ran in here and destroyed them. Oh, oops. You picked up all their materials, right? Give them back and we'll call it even. How much was there? Probably 80. Yep, that's what I remember. Actually, you know what? You're not so bad. You need some, some of this too, right? Well, here, you can have some back. Don't worry. Well, that's one more friend. I'm worried that there's someone in, like, a really out-of-the-way, hard-to-see place. And then I'm gonna go, like, right next to them and miss them because they're, like, behind an outcropping or something. Alright, I'm kind of just working my way around the outside edge of the island. This wouldn't be so bad if there was just a list of the kids I could pull up, but there is not. somebody. My friend told me something, but I'm not sure I believe them. They said if you're gonna fast if you're going fast enough and you jump right when you hit the water, you bounce. I wanna try for myself, but I'm not a good swimmer. Maybe I'll never know for sure. Oh I guess I'll show them. You did it! I can't believe you did it! I'm gonna go tell everyone at the playground I saw someone really skip on the water. See you there. Oh, that's the character who I was looking at on the list and couldn't figure out. Okay, that's good.
I've only found, uh, I've only bought, uh, from the bracelet person a few times. There are, I think there are four bracelets, it sounds like. Or at least that I've seen so far on the list. And I only have three. And I, it sounds like they count. Uh, set there near the splash pad. I think is this way. I see them. They're on top of the windmill. Why did I not think to go on top of that? Always climb up the windmill. Whoosh, do you hear it? There is a whisper on the wind. It shouts bracelets where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my mini beauties? Yes. Ooh, ooh, wonderful. Another beauty joins your collection. Haha, another bracelet. I feel the power surging through me. Hero, do you see what has happened? I bought a bunch of bracelets. Not just a bunch, all. You have purchased all. Each and every bracelet in the entire world is now yours. To commemorate this momentous achievement, I have an extra present for you. A present of knowledge. My beautiful, marvelous bracelets. Do nothing. What? I worked so hard to get those. No refunds. Now go forth with the knowledge that the power was inside you all along. Goodbye. Is it true? These really not do anything? If that's true, then nothing stopped me from climbing as much as I want. I have infinite stamina. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, I have infinite stamina. Tears of the Kingdom would, would never... <laughs> would never just give away infinite stamina. If only. Well, okay, that's perfect. I don't have to manage a stamina wheel. Maybe if I had if I had read down to the bottom of the guide, which would have been a good idea, I would have seen that uh, after that there is a post game, and in the post game you gain the ability to locate anyone you missed. So you know what? Let's wrap up the game. Yes. Sis, sis. Hey, kiddo. Come to check on my progress. No, even bet. Wait, why? Are you finally done? Uh, no, sorry. It was just a guess. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground. You've got a blacksmith and an astronaut, and even a whole castle with towers and bridges and everything. Wow, that all sounds great. It's the greatest. It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play. Ah, uh, I see. Come see for yourself, just for a minute. A half a minute. Don't even worry about all those books and stuff. You can just leave them right there for no reason. Haha. <laughs> Kiddo, can I talk to you for a sec, grown-up style? Grown up. Haha, uh -huh. sorry sis, it's playtime, you know the rule. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, it's about that snappy. I know what you're trying to do here. You do? Not that I don't want to play, or that all those memories aren't happy, or that I'm avoiding you, or... Dang, I'm butchering this, uh, hmm. I just think that if you see for yourself... I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do, and playing with you is, well, it's... Ah. What I'm saying is this assignment needs to get done. I can't make today go how you imagined, and still finish in time. What does that even mean? It means I'm not going, Snappy. I'm staying here and doing my lame, grown-up assignment. But, believe me when I say it's not an easy choice, but I have to focus on what's important right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go now. Okay. I really hope you have a great time. She's... she's busy. She said no. 
Yep, I knew it. Aw, oh, come on, Martin, they're having a moment. I... I got everyone to play. We built a whole town. I thought that would be enough. Aw, oh, scales, it'll be enough. We just have to double down, right? Maybe we can try some different colors? Maybe the timing was off. If it isn't enough now, it's not going to be. Martin. No, seriously. Look at this playground. Look at all of this. It's amazing. Spectacular. Everyone poured their whole day and every ounce of creativity they had into it. Adults gawk at stuff not even half this impressive. But we could still make it better. Maybe, but that's not the point. Snappy, if your sis isn't impressed with all this, then it's not about the game. It goes past that. You need to talk to her. I, I know. I know I do. I just don't have the words. It's okay, Snappy. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk about you and your sis's game and what it means to you? Uh, okay, it's a bit complicated. Complicated doesn't have to be scary. Yeah, imagine we're your little helper fairies. Helping you navigate the dark forest of your mind. Aw, we're... we're little again. smashed a big one. That's worth three hearts. We visited the park every weekend to play our game together, and we both looked forward to it all week. Do you remember why you stopped? Ugh, come on, let's keep moving. If you can hit that monster in the tree while we go by, it's an extra 200 points. Then you can fight the boss, but only if you can read the map. Boss, 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 boss. Whoa, did she make up all those systems herself? Yeah, that's why playing with Sis was the best. Every time we played, she had a new idea. Everything fit together just right. And the hero always won. How far back does all this go? Aw. This poor kid's having to grow up. hero has to be clad in green. I am green. Great, you're already halfway there. This is it, the first time we started playing together. Oh, this is the part where Sis has you pick a hero name. The name you pick seems familiar. Oh right, this is when I started going by Snappy. Choosing a name was part of the fun, and I liked how it sounded, so I kept it. It's sweet that it came from something you and your sister shared so closely. Names have a way of sticking, no matter where they come from. Yeah, guess I just never thought about it. Hang on, something about all this is biting at me. Is everyone else seeing the pattern here? Seems like your sister's always making the game and never playing it. As the brother of two little sisters, let me tell you, it's not always fun having to be the big kid. You're right, she never got to be the hero. Being the game maker person is exhausting, that's for sure. Was she always this tired too? I don't think she would have made such a complex game if she wasn't excited about it. You can entertain kids that age with a game of tag. Snappy, what do you think the game means to her? Well, I think Jill is right. She must have liked making it. But it is a lot of work. So I guess asking her to play is actually a lot of pressure. Pressure that I've been putting on her all day. Okay, so we just tell your sister that it's her turn to be the hero. Oh yeah, problem solved. I just have to apologize and let her be the hero. Then she'll want to play for sure. Not so fast, Snappy. Earlier I asked you why you and Sis stopped playing the game. We never talked about it. Oh right, I guess now's the time. Those memories are over there, back the way we came. This path is less taken care of, I guess. This was the day Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve her big dream, and we were both really excited. Looking back, though, that was the start of her having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do so that sometimes. We have to choose adult stuff. Uh, where am I supposed to go from here? I guess up.
One day she didn't want to talk at all, not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. And that was it. After that, she never wanted to play the game again. Didn't want to or didn't agree to. Er, uh, right, she didn't agree. Maybe she was feeling pressured. I'm sure she wanted to. She must have been really going through it to outright ghost you. I've had days like that. When she went away to college, I stopped seeing her altogether. Even when she's home, she's working on something. I know she's busy, and I want her to succeed, and I don't want to pressure her. But I don't want to never play the game again, either. Aren't we playing the game right now? Well, kinda, but with rules and friends and towers and monsters and heroes who save the land? Yes, it's just... Sounds like a great game to me. But I was only playing the game to get Sis to play the game, because it's not a real game without her. Which definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. Well, it kind of sounds like you figured this whole thing out. Yeah, I know what I want to say to my sis now. Because it is a real game. We did a lot of work to make it real. I want you all to know I appreciate that. Aw, Scales, you big softy. Come here. Thanks, guys. It helped a lot to talk about it. And if only someone suggested that earlier. Aha, uh -huh, knock it off. You go, Snappy. This time, your sis is really, really, really gonna... Aha, uh -huh, don't worry, guys. Whatever happens this time, I'm ready for it. I hope she still plays with us. Maybe she'll say no, though. Hi again. Hey, kiddo. So, um, how is college? Oh, it's fine. The work is tough, but I'm happy to be there. Does it really have lockers and hall monitors and big, gigantic classrooms like on TV? Most of that stuff stays in high school. There are lecture halls, though, and they're way too big. If I don't get a seat close to the front, I sometimes can't even hear what the professor is saying. That stinks. They should give the professors megaphones. Aha, uh -huh, megaphones. Yeah, then you'd always be able to hear them. And even if the lesson was really boring, nobody would fall asleep. Haha, <laughs> you might be onto something there. I bet the professors would get fed up with the noise before the students did. Maybe I should write a letter to the Dean. Go for it. Be careful. The evil Dean is known to crush any ideas that are too fun. Evil Deans are real? Maybe. Ah, uh, I've never met mine. Don't let that stop you from trying them. It sure is a lot of work putting a whole game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But, uh, that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make, you know? Yeah, I know. Multiplayer is a nightmare. Ha ha ha, I bet. I'm excited to hear all about that later. Ah, what's that grin? You look like you're about to burst. Did you want to talk about it now? No, it can wait. I just wanted to say. Thanks for everything. All the ideas and explaining everything to me. And being nice to me even though you were stressed out and... You don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Okay, just one more. Even though you have work to do, I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, Snappy. I'm glad too. Cool. Sorry I waited a hundred million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old. Bah ha ha. Don't make me laugh like that. I might crumble into dust. You're right. I better enjoy my youth. I better go enjoy my youth while I have the chance. Love you, bye. Good luck on your project. Love you too, kiddo. Alright, now's the part where she comes and plays with us. For like a little bit. Alright, time to focus. Focus on your future. Focus on what's important. There will be a nightly homework assignment, a weekly quiz, and five major projects before the semester is through. I do not take late work. Excuse me, sir. For which of our projects will we be working in Engine? If you stay ahead, you will begin practical work with me next year. You'll have to transfer schools. There's no other way? I'm afraid so. The magnet program you're looking for is only available elsewhere. Try to make a decision before the other applicants start piling up. I don't get it. This already is a real game. 
but I mean a real, real game, like Legend of Hero. I want to make something that everyone can play, something they'll love. And when I'm done, we can play it together. Okay, she's going to close the laptop. You know what? I think I've earned a break. We did it. Holy heck, Snappy, where did you get all this plywood? <laughs> that was cute. That was a cute game. Oh, now they're... Now there's some post... post scenes. I like it when games do these. Well, shows do. It's always nice to get these little pictures. These kids really accomplished a lot when you think about it. Like, they built an entire, like, fantasy village. Thanks for helping with the town. The cottage was a great idea. Yep, I'm full of them, heh. <laughs> so you're getting back to work now, huh? Looking at memes, actually. I've done enough work for one day. My group members will just have to step up. Those guys could use a lesson in teamwork. After today, I'm sure you'd be the perfect teacher. I do need a little rest before I'm able to keep up with you and your friends again, but I'm still in the game. Consulteth the purple witch if you need potions brewed or curses lifted. Or if you just want to talk. <laughs> I will. Thank you, oh goodly witch. Still having fun with all your friends, kiddo? Doth ye seek a tonic from the purple witch? Everything is perfect. I just wanted to say hi. Very well. Then I shall return to my studies arcane. But remember that you are always welcome here. Be safe on your journey, little hero. There's someone I can talk to that will give me the megaphone. Oh, Avery. Maybe. Hey, Snappy. Now that your big sis quest is over, want to be the promoter for the saloon? A promoter? What's that? The person who goes around telling everyone how great a restaurant is. You find new customers, then send them to the playground. So the same thing I've already been doing? Exactly. You're the perfect gator for the job. Here, you'll need this. The megaphone. I got a megaphone, and a job, I guess. This will help find people who haven't visited the playground, even from far away. How goes the monster hunting scales? Slaying evil is no problem for the fearless green hero. But it is kind of tough finding every little hiding spot. Haha, <laughs> I thought you might say that, and I have some exciting news. I've compiled statements from everyone about where they've seen game pieces into a comprehensive map. In other words, I know where all the loot is. Wow, that's amazing, Jill. Can I see it? Hey now, that's hardly in keeping with the adventuring spirit. But if you get stuck, send me some details about your location. I can point you in the right direction. Okay. Jill knows where all the monsters and pots and stuff are. I'll text her if I want a hint. What about Martin? What's up, Lucas? You and Martin aren't having any more trouble talking to each other, are you? Not a bit. He's friends with you after saying all that weird stuff? I've got nothing to worry about. So when are you guys watching Power Fighters? Uh, we're on for this Friday. Oh, that was weird. I thought I was talking to Martin. Glad you finally talked things out with your sis. She seems like she's having fun. And hey, be sure to stay in touch with your younger self. We're definitely too young for you to be saying that. I mean, try to see the world through the lens of your memories more often. I don't understand it all. Can you explain it like a video game? Bruh, fine. Uh, go to the settings and toggle Baby Gator mode for a new perspective. How's that? Amazing, now I can go to the settings and toggle baby, baby Gator mode for a new perspective. You are such a goober. Okay. Uh, I think so. Oh, he's in the moat. Nope, okay. Now we just need to use the megaphone. Oh, I'm 98% done. I think there's like... There might be only one person left. Hello, hello. I wonder if that's the last person at 98%. 
Oh no, it's this guy. So what'll it be? Crash picking stick. It's this guy. He's the last friend. That makes perfect sense, honestly. Alright. Well, the end is in sight, everybody. We're almost done with the game. I don't know why it says 49% on that, though. That part's kind of concerning. Unless I'm wrong, this stuff is... This stuff isn't respawning. Or is respawning, isn't it? Oh no, maybe it's not. Well, I do need more money. Let's text her and see what she says. I don't think it is respawning. I mean, I've destroyed half of it already, just kind of casually. I mean, how hard could it be to destroy it, like, purposefully? We're at 54% now. Pretty good. It is so nice to have infinite stamina now. Hmm. I think most of the, the cardboard at this point is probably going to be in really weird out of the way places.
destroy cardboard. How did these kids even put some of this stuff where they did? the kid running around swinging a wrench everywhere. You know, I don't think I said this earlier, but I would have loved to have done something like this as a kid. Like, just once. Like, I'm... Can you imagine doing something on this scale? I don't really need that anymore now that I think about it. So much stuff over here. Sixty two per cent. Oh. stuff. Well, I should have enough to buy everything, so let's do that really quick. Exhausted my supply. I have nothing more to teach you. Seems it's time for me to move on. Maybe even leave this whole junk trading game behind me. What are you going to do with all that trash? If I told you that, I'd have to. Eh, never mind. Let's just say it's my little secret. See you around, Trash King. Hey, I'm getting a text. Yo, 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 fearless hero. Just wanted to let you know, I did a head count, and we got them all, baby. Everyone who was here the first time is back in the game, so good job. That's great. Thanks, Tom. Gosh, it's so many friends. It's all of them. I made all the friends. I hope I can remember all these names. Oh, 
Oh, it's a... It's a grappling hook? That's kind of funny. That's pretty funny that it's a grappling hook. I'm only 64% of the way done with all of the, the garbage. I don't think I'm going to collect all of the trash. I wanted to get all the friends, but... I think I feel pretty good about getting all of the, all the garbage. Or all the friends and getting as much garbage as I did. I'm going to go back to the town real quick so I can admire my handiwork. And then, uh, and then I think we'll wrap up for the day. Now that everyone's here. I wonder if Tom has anything to say. That's everybody. I wonder what the trash can did. I mean, I'm kind of curious where he put all that trash. Normal name. Rowan Bartholomew Esquire the Fourth, heir to the Bracelet Empire. So Rowan. Rowan. Be around. Well, I I got an achievement for that. Wait, where is the trash kid at? He's not really a kid, I guess. I just wanted to know. What happened to all that trash? Who is this? Oh. Oh, person. Yeah, I really thought they would have put it in, like, the moat. Hmm. I kind of wonder if talking to them will get me an achievement. Just like, I got one for it. Talking to the, the shop. The shopkeep Rowan. Oh, there they are. I just want to see what they have to say now. Retirement suits me nicely, kid. Thanks for all the patronage. There's a lot more junk out there, but it's time I leave those bins to younger scavengers. Dude, how old are you? Eh, I bet you couldn't even guess. I'm probably older than this park. I'm older than dirt. I'm 16. We did it, everybody. We befriended everybody. And we reminded our older sister of what was most important to her. That was really fun. Let's, uh, let's wrap up for the day, though. That was a long stream. That sure was a lot of fun. Oh, am I lagging? Was I lagging the whole time? Oh, okay, there we go. That was really weird. Huh. <laughs> Raptor, you gotta keep going, I just got here. Raptor, I'm so sorry, but I'm done. <laughs> I've been streaming for four and a half hours.
It was a ton of fun, though. Uh, that game was very cute. So, I had a blast. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, uh, if I want to stream tomorrow still, or if I kind of want to take Friday off. So, I will decide at some point between now and before stream time tomorrow, and I'll, I'll let everyone know on Twitter. Since it's my first week back after being gone for so long, I might want to make it just a four-day week to start. It was the cutest game I've ever seen. It was very cute. That was a very cute, wholesome, cozy game. I can see why so many people like it. I would rate it very highly. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody, who came by. Uh, that was really fun. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, uh, and I will see you later. Bye, everyone.